Hey, Boomer, let's do it. Come on, man. I'm, I'm, I'm posting right now. Dude, sweet, guys, I got sweet hoodie, bry. It's, that thing is sick, dude. Hey, don't. It's multicolored. Don't both be a dick. Blue on blue. Don't be a dick, dude. Oh, you look cool, man. No, listen. I'm. I'm. This is. This is. I got to get back to my fucking TV show. I don't have a lot of time. Let's rock and roll. Oh, okay? God, Dander. TV show. TV show. Yeah, yeah. Joe. Yeah. I got to hurry hey, and Joe. do this. Yeah. TV show. Yeah. TV show. What Let's you, laugh at him. Why? Why? You got commitments? Yeah, man. Come on, guys. I. Yeah. I, I feel you, man. I gotta. You're not doing this it. weekend. I got a. You're not doing it. I got thirty thousand people to. Come see me at uh, Chase Arena. You know where they are? Uh, the Warriors? They play that's there. Steph Curry's? Uh, Steph Curry, yeah. It's his arena. 30, 30. And, uh, and that's a team with another team okay. to sell out that arena. It's just me and a stool. Okay, Joe. <laughs> All right, Joe. That's and it. I'm it's selling out the same. Joe, yeah, yeah. It's much. not even the playoffs. I know, Joe. So crazy. On a Thursday. What okay, dude. All right. So I get wow. it. Yeah, I get it. I get what the TV show thing. Yeah, you let, hurry up. Let's do this so you can get to your TV show. <laughs> 30,000 tickets. Because I have a private jet in between. <laughs> so I'm doing Chase Arena on Thursday. Right, and then I get on a private jet, fly to... Seattle. Okay, and I man. do another arena, and then I get on a private jet and Don't fly do that with back. Your hands. Well, that well, way like, you know like which way the, the flight path. Yeah, I like the That's visual. The flight you're path. showing me the path. This is the flat. This the flight I, pattern. Like I know, but you're making your hands all creepy, tight, like you're knifing them. Yeah. Can we talk about hands? Yeah. So I buy a cookie because I train karate. Oh my god. So I buy a cookie. Oh. Please tell me. I buy a cookie, mm -hmm. and I go, "This is not vegan," because the guy sold me, and he said, "This is a vegan cookie." Yeah. I go, "This is not vegan. It's too good to." To be a vegan yeah, cookie. It's got to be butter in it. And then Brian goes, let me try. Yeah. Sticks his hand. Like, first of all, who grabs a, a, like anything this. like this? <laughs> like, yeah. like a Teenage like this. Ninja Turtle. Yeah. yeah. I, tuck, like I tuck my pinky. Like he only has three fingers. Yeah. He tucked like the this. pinky. Yeah. He tucked the pinky. You and like grabbed, and you, you grabbed it, broke a piece off. Touched the entire cookie. <laughs> the entire cookie. And then shoved all four fingers <laughs> In his mouth to the second knuckle. It was disgusting. And then pulled it out. It was disgusting. I had to clean all the chocolate off <laughs> my finger, dude. Well, I, what I did was I dragged. And then, and then wiped it off like that. <laughs> and I go, I don't want to share any finger food items with you. Well, because yeah. I, I dragged my fingers along the cookie. I started from the very edge of the crust, dragged them along, and then just, I, yeah. just to put my mark on it. My yeah. germs. And then I broke it off. I'm not saying that you, um, like, I know the joke is that you're, everyone thinks you're old. That's what. That's like the common. <laughs> but a lot of people right, say it. Don't, really that, like a lot of people say it. I know you're being a dick. But, 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 but you, you're being shitty you, right now. But the way you ate that cookie is old. No, no, you're it's being, old. That's like how. Uh, that's fair. Like someone that's in a nursing home. No, like, that's fair. you're being shitty. That's right not now. vegan. And then yeah. fucking no, man. sucks his fingers up. Don't, Knuckles deep. Yeah. I did. I did put. I did get aggressive with my fingers. And you know, I wanted yeah. a piece. You did? Yeah, I did. Well, I don't I know if you gonna, look not, at this. I don't want it now. It's I stopped eating it. Me too. Will, Will, the camera. <laughs> all of a sudden, no, I'm not even oh, joking. Wow. You think I'm joking? Look, I stopped eating it. Yeah, you did. I, I did. Yeah, no. It was Sorry. look. Oh, that does look. Nice, and there's though. his fingers. Look, one went here. Yeah, one went here, and then one went there. And, and then, then he broke it off like that. But no, he and then crammed it in. He fisted. Look, he fisted. You can <laughs> literally see. That's his hands. Am I making that up? Really? Let me see. If this was a CSI that, investigation, let me see. This is that's his. <laughs> let me see. That's his fucking. <laughs> you did it. You're guilty, Your Honor. Do you know? You know that I'll Tim Meadows. That, Tim Meadows told me that that, that look. I'll grab a piece. Show him how you did it. Show him how you did it. I just show him how you did it. Right, I'm gonna do I go normal. here. I'll reenact it. Brendan, this is. There's no way this is vegan. Oh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be normal. I'll try. Yeah, maybe you'll try it too. I'm gonna be normal. Go ahead. Let's let Brian try a piece first. You get your old ET fingers on it. That's normal. Yeah. Oh, that's how he did it. And then how do you put it? <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> how he did it. That's exactly, that's exactly, he did. exactly how he did. did it. And we just stood and, there like. And you know what's crazy? <laughs> you want to hear the funny part? That's exactly how he did it, right? But he was talking to me as if no one noticed. He cramped all his finger in his fucking mouth. I was like, <laughs> he's talking to me like, yeah, you yeah, know, and then, you know, I, I really like what blah blah blah. And I go, did you just cram all your fucking fingers in your mouth? No fucks given either, was there, Brian? I'm sorry. It's just. I'll buy you another. I'll still try that. No, it's all good. It was the last man. one. My fingers and my whistle are very clean. Here, I keep everything clean. Yeah. Not, well, it's yours. Go fuck yourself. It's yours, man. But also, when the show's done, I'll try it. Joe Coy, congrats on all your success. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's kind of nuts. It's crazy. And I love you. Thanks to you guys. Well, we do Put take me on credit the map. for it. <laughs> we take credit for it. Um, yeah, seriously. You and I are supposed to go uh, sneaker shopping. Bro. I, you know what's funny is this is what annoys me the most, okay? And it, no no disrespect to anyone that's that's in the shoe game right now. A sneakerhead? But, but I've been a sneakerhead since Jump Street, right? 
And when I mean Jump Street, I mean the actual fucking show, Jump Street. <laughs> and um, the 80s. And yeah, man. And like, uh, it's so funny that these little shits come to my show, right? They'll be like 16, 17, and like, oh, it's so cool, Joe Quaid's you hit. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Mm-hmm. The, did you not see... You've been doing I think I'm going to make a video and show what I wore, like my first special. My first what, special. What did you I was, wear in your first special? Uh, Olympic ones. Oh, yeah. And then my Tonight Show. Right, you go know, get coffee. Huh? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Go get a coffee <laughs> and then wash your hands. <laughs> I want to know what Olympic ones <laughs> yeah, yeah. are. Exactly. So go get your coffee. Exactly. Because like, you're I wear, old. I wear blunt Type stones. in Jordan Olympic ones. Go ahead. Hmm. And then uh, the Tonight Show, I wore patent leather Air the Force 11? Ones. Oh, Air no, Force you ones. didn't. Damn. damn. Oh, those, that's what I wore on my first special. Oh, Don't make him angry. All the way over to the left. Oh, the the left. original, the OG, right there. Right yeah. There. Oh, those are super that's fresh. What I, fresh. That's what I those wore right so there. So sick. So sick. I still got them in a box. Too. You, you know what's interesting now is like the shoe game is so di- When I was a kid, we would. Like the, any Jordans, the five sixes, we'd show yeah. up at like Foot Locker and wait yeah. out. You have to wait in line for two, three hours. Really? But we had a good chance of getting them. Yeah. Now, now, no. because you know people are getting robbed and shot and their arms taken off and slit mm. their throats for Jordans. So now what they do is it's only on an app. So it's, nothing's in person. Oh right. So but you, I got to wake up at seven a.m. At thirty six years old, I wake up at seven a.m. on a Saturday mm. when I'm on the road. Yeah. I get on the app and you gotta you gotta submit to see if you're in the is that a wrong. new thing though? No, but here's the problem, B. Here's the problem. Uh-huh. So Sinker has like me and Joe, we're not getting it. These bots and these companies are oh. because they have these all this like Programs. Kind of, yeah, that just suck it all up because they're flipping them. Wow. I, I had a mm-hmm. friend who was a, uh, you know, he ran with a rough crowd and he used he would sell some stuff for the Hells Angels. And he goes, I see him. And he goes, I don't do, do I don't do it anymore, man. He goes, You need some Yeezys? I went, What? He goes, yeah, I make the profit off that's more than anything I can do in the drug business. He goes, so I just have to connect to the Yeez. I don't know how he's getting them. He goes, and I, I get the surplus, and then I just dish shows out. Damn. He goes, and I flip it for way faster. So how much does he make on Yeezys, for example? Like a thousand dollars? Depending which ones. Now there's a lot out there, but certain shoes, like especially Dunks, Dunks are like, right now, dunk, SB Dunks are like the hot. What are Dunks? Did you see the shoes? Why do, you, why do you act like this? Why do you ruin every conversation? No, why? I'm just you just I, ruin every conversation. No, scroll, scroll up. Why? You're, like, you're like my dad. You no, see, you see on, those, no, you see those strange you're love just, ones? I want to be cool. The yeah. second one's in, the ah, Valentine's Day ones. Those are dope. Papa just got those. Mm, that's cool. I, I'm, I swear you're so annoying. Why? Joe, I'm saying Joe, they're dope. <laughs> those are sick, by the way. <laughs> those Joe, are, I got I to gotta hook you up with my... You're in uh, El Paso. I don't know where that's in San Antonio, but yeah. my boy Jake does custom shoes for LeBron, Beckham, everybody. That's he dope. brought me custom... Uh, uh, custom Supreme ones, low tops. <laughs> Show him those, Jen. Mm. Brian, go get us a fucking. No, cookie. I want to be part of this. Oh, I love Supreme. He, he'll make Are they the dopest kicks. You know what I hate the most is like this would be such a great conversation. Yeah, you, and it's you're ruining. It. Why I'm not doing anything? I'm just you're ruining. Go to the it. library. You're being I'm old. Just, I'm listening. You're being very old. No, I'm not. I'm I'm, I'm saying things like fresh and those dope. Are dope. Those are sick. Oh, those are sick. So he so he, he makes them for Nike. He makes he gets the all the the all the the materials are from where Nike gets their oh, stuff. Oh, really? It's all super. and just refurbishes uh, the whole thing. But so does sick. his does his own style. Oh, I'm they're so, so fucking good. I'm I'm so really furbished. Like I really <laughs> detail. <laughs> How do they get that dope that dope design? All right, on that. All right what, man. Dude? Nah. You're 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 annoying, bro. Yeah, Why? Hey, Why get back, I'm, get back on set, bro? I'm literally just sitting yeah. here hey, as an actor, on. as a working actor yeah, who took this, some time this, off. This is you. How long? Shh, say how the line again. No, how say long, the line again. No, how long does it? Sh- how long no. does it take you to remember your three lines have, in that show? No, first of all, like three lines. That's a shitty thing to say because I'm the star, and also I have a photographic memory. Yeah. <laughs> You know, no one believed that. That's why it's no, completely just, quiet. I remember the internet shut there. down. <laughs> you know, you know, you know. What I realized is that when you're on a set, of course, we all know it's the death of fun mm-hmm. in a lot of ways because you're waiting and you do the same thing over and over again. And the only thing you want to do on a TV show or, is you better have people you can be silly with because if you don't, if you, I don't know how people can like Joaquin Phoenix. How they can just be actors, hold that that preparation all thing. day yeah. not talk That's to anybody yeah. he wouldn't talk to anybody but the director yeah like i i, I know but for three months i would go but be go crazy That's That's insane his thing. That's his thing. he won an oscar yeah. yeah that's all he cares about That's right. but there's That's a difference artwork. there's a difference between actors like you and i can yeah. act and have right. fun yeah and then there's 
actors, actors who become whatever it yeah. is that's on that page. And those people, I say, are clinically insane. I, and, and they're functional schizophrenics. Oh, and I'm not trying to be funny or anything like that, but you can't sit here and act like I want to hang out with Johnny Depp. Yeah. You can't. Well, how about that? You can't. Well, I don't, don't want to hang out with a pirate Do you, because he will be a pirate. <laughs> right. For me, six fucking months, he will be a pirate. Like, I'm going to go to Foot Locker and he's yeah. like, all right, let, let, me do you one, let me do you one better. <laughs> so Daniel Day-Lewis. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Let me do you one better. Nicholas Daniel Day-Lewis. Do you remember that movie, My Left Foot? Yes. yes. Okay, so he, it, it's about a painter, uh, uh, Chris Christie or something. He's a painter. Bring it up. And he could only use his left foot. He had cerebral palsy. All right. He's talking like this, and he's being a. And that. Now, now, take a look at him as the actor in this for a second. I just want to because as the actor, appa- yeah. Now, now he basically was a simple move. jack. No, no, no. He had cerebral palsy, but he was normal, and all he could do is paint. He could paint with his now, left foot. Now he, yeah. Now, now Dude, apparently, I totally remember this movie. Sounds yeah, like an now, awful. Now movie. apparently, and he wasn't even a well-known actor at this point. Apparently, and he won an Oscar for it. The fucking guy had well, people. Well, his foot did. The, the guy had yes. <laughs> the guy. Fair, the, look at him. The guy had people uh, changing him and helping him take a shit and oh, wipe his ass. He oh, full. he went full he on, went full. full on, and he did that for I don't know how long it took to do the movie, but he did it the whole time. Now look at him right there. Nah, man. But that, that movie's sick. But well, that's why he's the best. I know. Yeah. Go ahead. He's, going, he's, he's willing to do things others won't do. I, I, yeah. I'm not interested. Go I, ahead. I, I, if I part. got that character, when they say cut, I'm going to be like, oh, fuck this shit, man. I'm, I'm I can't out. do it anymore. I'm, I'm done. Correct. I'm done. Correct. I need my other foot. Or or, yeah. or how about Jim Carrey for The Grinch? Did Ooh. make up for 12 hours? I was in that Had to stuff. give that 3 a.m.? Did you Listen, see? I did it on Mad TV, and I, I, I was going crazy. But not, but, not, but not months and months and months. Well, uh, well I, I, I only did it for like, I would do it for a week at a time, and you get there at 5 in the morning, and they paint your face and put plastic. You go crazy. They said yeah. he had to you have go a crazy. mental coach. He had to have a mental who talked him into going somewhere else because they would just sit there. It's so hours. uncomfortable. It's and so uncomfortable. It's so crazy that you just said that. Did you see the post of him on no. Instagram? No, I, I just that. saw it yesterday. Where they asked him about the Grinch, how kids come up to him, like, like this is an old uh, interview, yeah. and they're asking him how he uh, got into uh, the character, uh, and he morphed his face with no makeup what? into the, bro, what can freak. you pull it up? And I'm not even joking. That, that was it right there. I saw it. Right? No, no. That, that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Watch this. <laughs> he's, it he's it's amazing. unbelievable. You know, their parent says, you know who it, that is? That's the Grinch. And I go, oh, shit. That's oh my god! I must find a way to stop Christmas from coming, you know. And bro, God, dude, was that not the? Let me that see is, that, let me see that again. Yeah, watch it again. That's without Holy makeup. Shit. He doesn't need that makeup. Says, you know who? Look at this. Is? That's the Grinch. And I go. I must find a way to stop Christmas from coming, you know. And bro, <clears throat> Jesus, I'm, ta- I'm, I'm taking the that kilo to see. He's an, he's an athlete. That he's an athlete. That's an athlete. <laughs> that's an alien. He's an alien. <laughs> that's an alien. He is from another planet, and that's why he's Jim Carrey. Oh, he's one of the greatest of all time. He's the greatest of all time. I'm, I'm going to take my son to see Sonic the Hedgehog tomorrow. That's the movie he's doing. Oh, is that you what he's promoting? Sonic? Yeah, Got he's it. the bad guy in Sonic. He's amazing. Uh, that's who that is. Yeah. I didn't even recognize Sonic him. The Hedgehog. Unbelievable. The the Dude, the greatest of all time. Uh, I'm sorry, man. He's great. Me, myself, and Irene, one of my favorite I, movies I think of all he's, time. I think he's astonishing. Like my friend, Truman my friend. Show? Truman Show. Me, myself, and Irene is the most underrated movie that he ever did. That's where he played three people yeah. and yeah. crushed See, every I single one Cable of them. I Cable Guy, too. It didn't do well, but Ben Stiller wrote it. God, Judd Apatow Cable was, was the producer. So good. Jim Carrey was in it. It was supposed to be super dark. Yeah. So the original take of uh, Cable Guy was dark. He would like yes. kill people and do yes. super dark mm. stuff. Yes. Yes. And the studio's like, uh-uh, we ain't having it. So they had to change it. And that's when like Stiller and uh, Carrie were like, oh, this thing, this isn't what we were doing, man. Yeah. But I love that. That movie's I great. love that people movie. People shit on it, but. I, I know I know somebody who just date him, and I also know somebody who worked with him for a long time. And, yeah. And they, they, they always talk about it's how he, like he was always, he's kind of bipolar. <laughs> he gets depressed and stuff. I'm he always knows somebody. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know everybody. Everyone knows somebody. And, uh, They're probably on the set yeah. waiting for you. Yeah. Well, I was, I was, I, the guy, the person I know is me. I know him. I know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just date him when he had us. You're talking to the. We were both going through a phase. Yeah. And, uh, but he, as a comic and stuff, remember, he, he was like, you know what? I'm really good at doing impressions. Not doing that anymore as a comic. He would destroy, get standing ovations. Not going to do that anymore. I'm going to try something different. And yeah. he was always, when he apparently with uh, In Living Color, always 
always fucking around with different characters. Like he never stopped. Well, you yeah. know, at the comedy store, he would go on. He was one of the only guys who'd go on, and he'd do something new every single night. And a lot of times he ate dick. Yeah. And some nights he came up with something, but he would just go on and do new shit every look, look single night. This was so funny. Remember him? Oh, oh my so god. Penis to Milo. <laughs> so fucking hilarious. So funny. Oh my god. Fire Marshal Bill. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's he was great. Man. Do you remember his stand up? I remember when he used to do a T Rex impersonation and yep. I was just I would die. And Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood. Ah. Oh, yep. So amazing, man. He had, so yeah, he had, amazing. Now he paints and just like talks shit about Trump. Chris, did Chris do Farley ever do stand up? No, no he I didn't. I just saw him in another thing. He fucking makes me laugh. Tim Meadows was saying he used to do this bit on, on Saturday Night Live where they'd come into a crime scene as two detectives and uh and they'd look at it and it's fucking there's a dead body and Chris Farley would go, ah, fuck. All right. Pull your pants down, let me suck your cock. <laughs> <laughs> and Tim's like, why? And he goes, because I think I know what happened here. <laughs> like, everything he did was hilarious. Everything. Oh man. I oh love the my story. God. My favorite story about Chris is like everyone else is fighting to get their uh, whatever they wrote uh, to to Lauren Michaels. Yeah, and then Chris would walk in with nothing, but then get all the sketches. Get all the fuck, of course. Yeah, he would just it, walk in with nothing. He, he never had anything, but everyone's fighting. <laughs> Lauren, please look at this. And then Chris just walks in late, and they're like, "Yeah, let's give it to him." Uh, yeah, the they said, "Let's give it to him." He shared an office with uh, Chris Rock. Sandler and uh, Spade. Spade. Yeah. So all of them would stay up all night writing and yeah. he'd come in just fuck around yeah. and be like, see you in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, do you ever see him on, on David Letterman where that one thing he did where it's like, my dad told me, don't make a fool of yourself. Don't make a fool. And he goes, I went to this fat farm and I was dancing. Do, 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 do. He starts dancing. I was dying. I, he goes, well, you are the king. Come on. He's the fucking king. You know, he's screaming. Like, <laughs> it was, it was, uh, do you remember this yeah, right here? Man. Remember yes. this shit? He just starts going crazy because apparently he'd be really nervous backstage. And, you know, he, he, and then he would go out and just destroy. Isn't that crazy when someone that talented has like anxiety issues? Or, or you know, the, the nervous, like, what are you nervous about? He said that's why David Letterman stopped doing stand-up. Hated the nerves of it. Cause really? Because he, he wasn't Every good. night, hated doing it. Wasn't that good? It. No, but, but yeah. you know, they went on to be <laughs> one of the greatest of all that? time. <laughs> what happened? I, you don't have to do that. You don't have to hate on David Letterman. Yeah. I do hate on him. I why? Hate on him. I have my reasons. Why? I have my reasons. Because I got to read. I know why. Uh, I don't like him. He passed on you. I know he passed I, on you. No, I, I did a show. I did stand-up on a show. Don't think he's funny. Was never a comic. He's, you don't good, think he's, he's good at being smart. He's a good host. Good at, good at being a host. Good at watch this. Well, one of the greatest. Good. Not 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 close to. He's just there for a long time. Not close Yeesh. to Conan O'Brien. Oh, not close. Fuck that guy. By Different. the way, got not got close. that guy to go. Smart, snarky, snarky. Good. You know, you do it long enough, you're going to be okay. But no, nah, I got nothing for David Letterman. Man, he he wasn't a good problems. comic. How mm. about that? Wasn't. That's a fact. He was a he was a weatherman. Yeah. And then he became a comic. I'll try to be a and comic. And then a, a writer. Well, you know why he stopped doing comedy? Jay Leno. He saw Jay Leno's like how good he was, and he was like a <clears> wordsmith, and his grind, and he's like, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Like, I can't compete with that. Right. How the hell do you get the, the show then? Isn't that crazy? How do you Different land that time, show? Right place, right time. Yeah. Good. You know what? That. Good at yeah. that. Not bad. Uh, probably pretty smart, hard worker. He was also. definitely good. He was really good host. Yeah, I, had, I loved watching he him. Caught, I loved he, David caught, he caught a zeitgeist. He, he was. I remember when he became famous, and and I remember when he started and why people liked it. It was a it was a time when, yeah. when somehow that fit in. He was sort of was like Jay, Indiana. What well, do you think Jay Leno's funny? Um, for no, those hoes, no, like no, that's really. what you know. No, but I like. But did you, you think know. Carson was funny? Carson was very good at what he did, right? He was so, good, you know, good though. Carson was so good. He was so good. Carson would do. Carson's timing was a, was so impeccable. impeccable. Yeah, I think I think Conan's the the best. Conan is. Of all. I love Kimmel too. I like Kimmel. Yeah, yeah. I love Kimmel's Kimmel. outstanding. I like Fallon. Fallon's good. Mm -hmm. I like Kimmel. I like and I like. Uh, oh no, Conan. fucking uh, what's Conan's his name too? The the big boy. Uh, James Gordon. James Corden. James Gordon is great too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't know. They do three at the same that. time. Then they do like the car karaoke. Yeah. They do skits. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. love it. He's killing it. It's yeah. a very specific. No, no one's talent. really watching those shows though. No one's watching no one's them really, anymore. Like you're gonna get more eyeballs on this than yeah. if you went on one hundred percent Fallon or something. It's shit. not the same. Like I, I, I don't want to. Uh, no hate, but burning your material on those shows aren't like what they used to. Remember? Did you ever do? Uh, I did the name? Tonight Show, and I'm telling you right now, man. I did it with uh, uh, Jay Leno. And what year? Oh man, this is 15 years ago. Yeah. So 2004, and uh, I got a, I killed it, and 
I didn't know how many people watched it because I was still working at Nordstrom Rack. I was a shoe salesman. Mm-hmm. So uh, they would, you know, you bring the right foot to me and I go get your left foot in the back. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, that one. And uh, I'm wearing uh, patent leather uh, Air Force ones. And, um, <laughs> and uh, every single customer was like, dude, you were so funny on the Tonight Show. That's no lie. That's so and awesome. then I got a commercial That's deal so from awesome. this set. Everyone I got a commercial it. deal from this set. I, got, uh, I went on this major uh, tour for a, a, a cell phone company. They were paying me like 3000 a gig. That's I mean, so all from this set. Yeah. It was a and, big deal. And literally that's changed it, that's my life. Changed my life. I was working at Nordstrom Rack and Borders Books at this time. I was broke, Busted. and I was I was able to quit my job. Wow, job that one set. because of that set that right four, there. Nine, four 19, minute set. Yeah. That four minute set. I did Letterman in nineteen ninety nine. As look at those Air Force. With a guy one, named Dane Cook as we're, part of a new comic. Oh well, look at your jeans. Those are yeah. Were you were you nervous for the? No, I had this one in the bag. Oh, I wanted to cry backstage too because Letterman passed on this set. He, we, we sent it to him twice and he passed he said See, it was too you physical cool. you were cool. physical he hated physical yeah he said I was too physical or whoever was the booker and then uh, Ross and Bob saw me do this set at uh, New Faces at Just for Laughs and they said say that set we want to put you on the best night so we're going to find like the best First and they of all, gave you me Alanis killing. Morris set and yeah. Joaquin Phoenix yeah and that was and I got the stand I remember spot. I remember you back then because we knew each other and you yeah. were you were killing back then mm. like you would get Thank up you. on at the laugh factory and destroy rooms so it's like yeah and then letterman was like mm, you do, well a lot of times it's not letterman do that. a lot letterman talks about in his book a lot of times it's not yeah, him it's not it's but i also they, know they have a guy yeah they, they have a guy but also a lot of times it is there was a thing yeah, yeah. <laughs> well he did i that's what he they does, said can to i me. just say this so can i say Shut this he didn't like the, the, i know the bookers i knew knew his bookers pretty well and they're awesome, but um, they were very, very aware of what he liked. Uh-huh. And very, very in tune. He had a style. They were very yeah. in tune, so they were very worried. Nothing about wrong with that, though. No, you go to no. Jay Leno. No, they were. They did yeah. the great job. Now, they Joe, were, but before we job. go on about Brian's past and you know his issue with David Letterman, this is also a guy who doesn't think Brad Pitt's very talented. Oh, see, no, I never said that. And Tom Hanks, I never said that. You did. You did. That. I never yeah. said. You said they're not. Did, did he, he say that? that? I said they don't do anything. I've never gone to a movie for those guys. There are other actors I like. You more. said you went. You, you went never right. went to a movie with Tom Hanks. No, never. Tom did. Hanks well, on the poster never awesome. made you want to buy a ticket. Tom Hanks is awesome, but that's not why I would go to the movie necessarily for whatever reason. It's like people like the Police and the Cars, the great bands. Never, never really spoke. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt is a movie star, right? He's a movie star. It's just, it's just a different thing. Yeah. I, and I, I thought, I think he's awesome in certain. I loved him in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I loved him in uh, Seven. In in seven, he was great, made him a star. I loved him Fight in Club. Uh, Fight, Club. Fight Club. He was awesome. So certain roles, he's Troy. fucking awesome. You know anything with his shirt off? Yes. Yeah, he was great in Thelma and Louise. I'm not saying that he his success is not an accident. It's just I'm, what I'm saying is that there are other actors as far as just acting who can who become what, characters. What do you say about him though? What do you say about Brad Pitt? I, I don't go. What to, did, hold on, Brian. Movie Brian. Brian. Shut the fuck up, Sorry. man. <laughs> Sorry, what man. Did, Sorry. It's okay. Sorry. What did, what did Brian Sorry. say about Brad? He essentially said that he never went to a movie specifically because those men were Correct. in the film. Yeah. And then he started to double down and said, you know what? I don't think he's that good. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. You did. You doubled down. And that's down what you that's said. They're not that happening. good. You have to face that, man. That's exactly now what you just said. just won an Oscar. Well, yeah, you don't say something like that. Right now? Well, what I say, though, after I saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. You took it back. Yeah. So Very then good. take it back right now. <laughs> apologize. Well, let me, apologize. Let me, say I'm sorry. It's not that I said he's say not I'm sorry. That, I, it's not that he's not that good. He's a fucking movie star. Yeah. And he has magic. Yeah. Charisma. Oh, he checks and, all boxes. And I'm all telling that. you, man. He checks all boxes. I'm telling you, man. And, and Him and whatever Leonardo, he does, man. What I thought was fuck. awesome about Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is his ability to be great in silence. Like yeah. his timing is impeccable. Of course. I just, for, oh, in the past, there are other people that I... I think are better. Yeah. That fight scene between him and Bruce Lee. I loved it. Everyone was all up in arms about it. So it great. Hilarious. Yeah, but that's but okay, this is this was my take on that movie. My take on that movie is there's a lot of people in this industry that have stories. Yes. There's a lot of behind the scenes. Yes. And they're elaborated and embellished stories. Correct. So this is once upon a time, I lived next to Sharon Tate. Yeah. 
Yeah. And, and you're not going to believe it. I hung out with the killers a couple times. Like, yeah, it's correct. these bullshit Hollywood stories. Once yeah. upon, oh, yeah, I was on the set with Bruce Lee, and you're not going to believe it, man. The motherfucker was at the craft table. I beat the fuck out of him. Yep. Yeah. And there's other actors like, what? Yeah. And that's why that was my take on that. Yeah, so, that like, Chuck I don't know why Zito. people were up in arms about it. I thought it was, I loved I that loved movie. It. That, that was the Chuck Zito story who was in Hells Angels who knocked out uh, uh, Jean Claude Van Damme. Mm. And when I was doing Oz, Chuck was on the show. So, all of us as actors would be like, tell us a story about when you knocked out Jean Claude Van Damme. And it would be a story. It was a, it was a Hollywood story. Yeah. Now, I don't know no exactly what happened. Right? I don't know what I I, I know believe that Chuck Zito will punch you in the face. That that I believe sure president would. of the Hells Angels. Do but. you know how many stories I've heard from Jamie Masada about what's happened upstairs at the Laugh oh, Factory yeah. on some big names that I would never ever say publicly? Really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Brad Imagine Pitt. the movie that I could make just <laughs> off of those stories. Yeah. You you know what I'm talking about. You've heard You've you've uh, never have you ever talked to Jamie? Uh, oh yeah, I yeah, know exactly what it's, you're talking about. It's yeah. not good. No, and I and I've heard some bad ones. And the funny thing is, one of them they're is, also like and they're so other fun. there's other old school comics that back it. Like yep, oh yeah, and you're just like what the oh, fuck? Yeah. Because you know what, comics are and should be misfits. <laughs> and let's be honest, mm -hmm. let's be honest, all of us, you, you, and me, yeah. and everybody we know. At the end of the day, are trying to control their misfitness. Yeah, their their misfitnessness. Yes. Do you feel like a misfit, Joe? I feel like uh, what it is is a uh, we've been blessed with such a an amazing job, and our job is to just be ourselves. That I don't think we can ever like take real responsibility. Does you that make take, sense? Yeah. yeah. I don't like I think, like one thing I, that really annoys me is when someone goes god can't you be serious and i'm like no no yeah. i can't cuz no. i make millions of dollars <laughs> <laughs> i make millions dude this week millions of fucking dollars i don't need to be depressed and in my fucking yeah. feelings fucking right now that, and i've always loved you for that yeah i've always loved that you cuz a lot of comics aren't this way what i love about you from day fucking one is you celebrate other people's success always you're always positive yes. and you're always fucking hilarious and as i get at 50 fucking three mm. and i'm old and i really say this you know what my new goal is i'm what? dead serious shutting the fuck i'm up. not shutting the fuck up <laughs> please shutting the fuck up but i'm not taking myself seriously yeah at all. no more at man. all no, no i don't more. want to at all 53 no dude it's it starts time. to eight right. you know what you really need fish oil for Ooh, the what? joints right what your joint <laughs> no that wasn't a point. Is that one. what you're getting at? No, I opened myself fiber. up, and now you guys are being dicks fiber. about my age. I know you gave me a really nice compliment about how yeah, and now you're funny I am, I and then you went right to your knees and how how you don't have uh, time. The time is uh, <laughs> limited now because you're you're on the other side now. The back. You're on the other side. The, yeah, the you're coming nine. down the hill now. You're coming back now. You know, one of the stories. You spent a lot of time climbing up that hill, but now you're fucking. Someone you're rolling still down. Depends who yes. I'm gonna have. Oh my, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have my day. I'm gonna have my day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have your day, bro. You're going back on a set. Yeah, but I'm not selling thirty thousand tickets, so I'm a failure. Nope. No, you're you not. Know? Well, actually, that's just the two shows in San Francisco. <laughs> if you add up the no. whole weekend, it's close to what did we figure out, Yoda? <laughs> 60,000. Okay. All right, Joe. I'm trying to sell at the West Palm Beach Improv <laughs> this weekend. I'll be there for Valentine's Day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm fucking quitting stand up. Joe, hey, Netflix, he, Joe, Joe but the thing is about Joe, he said, we were talking, I was, where was 60, I? I was at the store where I was selling. You'll be top five comics touring selling tickets. That's crazy. For sure. For sure. 100%. You know, I was so nervous to put the forum you, on sale. Like, literally, I was nervous. I was just like, I don't want to do this. I was so comfortable with the improvs, and and then uh, and and my team was like, let's just try the let's try the forum. And I had this bucket list that I put out last year. It said forum staples, uh, the Dar Constitutional Hall where Eddie Murphy shot Delirious, I saw that. Uh, Radio City Music Hall, and I said the Sydney Opera House. And I said I want to do it before 2020. Oh so we put them all on sale. And they all sold out in minutes. Oh my god! And it, it fucking is oh just like. Oh my god! Can you do a commercial for my my West Palm Beach? <laughs> I always promote you, Brian, <laughs> which is crazy. I love you for that. Thank I you. always push you. I know. And you I think I think every awesome. comic should uh, celebrate other comics, like you said. I agree. Why wouldn't you? Uh, when your special came out, I fucking loved it. I Thank pushed you. it. I promoted it. Thank you. And this is before I was even doing this show, by the way. I think you know what I mean. I love you. 
You're the best. Hurt my eyes Before I was coming on. Roll, chin. Dude, I can't believe this, though. 60,000 tickets. Yeah, that one was in the round in Hawaii. Uh, how, how I did many, two of those. That was 20,000. How many does the... That your, is that your nephew there? That's my son. son. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. I love that you um, have son. How many does the form hold? The form is 13,000. No comps, by the way. It was so funny. They... they <laughs> 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 and I'm doing back to back. All right, Joe. Back to back. All right, Joe. Which is 26. Okay, roughly. man. 26 you're being... and change. 26 and change. Ah, no man. No comps. What are you doing with your money? It was so uh, funny. They were like, uh, on your artist holds, Joe, do you want to release them? And I was like, I don't have that many friends. Go ahead and sell them. <laughs> Joe. We can give Bri- we'll, we'll give Brian a we'll give Brian a ticket. No, don't don't do that. That was crazy. That's NJ Pack. Let's see that. And I did that three times. What? I did two on the same night. What the fuck? Dude. Look at that. And now, Brian Callen, your headliner! Ah, <laughs> uh, how about that? Yeah, I would love that. Thanks, you guys. Now I would love for you to come on. How, Brian, how many times have I asked you to come do my show? I'd and to. be honest, I've asked you so many times to come do my show. You mean you're To come on my show, to, to, go, to go up and perform. I, no, I've asked you. I I, I've asked Brent. I, I I've asked it. you several Dude, times. I'll, I'll you come, came. I'll come. I came once. Let me come mm-hmm. do a tight hour. Great. I don't give a fuck. No oh, man, that, that's not what I want from you. Okay, you just <laughs> said. <laughs> you just. Said. I want to keep them there. I want to contain them. Hey, hey. <laughs> I want to con- <laughs> Yeah, because you, you want to leave it. The, the whole happy. goal. Yeah, man. The yeah. whole goal is to keep them in there for a certain amount of time. Give them a, a fucking show. Yeah. So you would go in there three, like salt and pepper, like little three, four minute, no. you know, whatever your, your best. <laughs> no. You know what that's I mean? so insulting. Do I fly like, out myself and then I... <laughs> no, no, I would fly you out. I got a private jet. We got like, uh, you got like uh, 10 open seats, but like... Uh, <laughs> but, um, so generous. But definitely... One but, for each in? Huh? And what would I do? You want me to do... And you're gonna yeah, just... Uh, yeah. Well, uh, be the MC, bro. Yeah, be the MC. The this is so good. We can... I'm playing the form. It just got real. <laughs> Yo, what song is that? I feel like crying. Yeah. <laughs> what song is that? It makes me want to cry just watching that. Yeah, this thing's so dope. I know I joke around, man, but I pinch myself every day. Isn't it amazing? Let's yeah, go man. spend some money. Let's go spend your money. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, now, what do you... Now, now, everything's free. You I'm don't look so at price hot. tags. But, mm. but have you... Um, what have you done for yourself? What indulgence have you given yourself? Because you're always the same. You know, I, don't, I don't really tell people wears, what I do with it. He wears really nice clothes and shit. And shoes, yeah. Jewelry. If mm-hmm. you notice his watch, Brian. What's, let me see your watch. Brian, you, you don't want to see it's, it. It's a gold roll. Man. It, it's, it's, what do you have over there? This is a Submariner. So mine's like two of those. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> You gotta stop. You're well, quietly trying is. to dominate. I, this. I don't know if it is. This it is. is. Well, this is a vintage '87. Okay, good. So then, yeah, the gold is the weight is le- less. Well, well no, you're, being, like you're, you're more, trying to dominate less. us, and you're doing it in a subtle, shitty no, way, dude. I'm just because right, I'm doing talk. it for comedy. Let's talk watches, no. but I'm not being real. Like I don't, I don't mean it, but yeah, it is. It's, it's just, a, it's a. Those are cool, dude. It's just a sky dweller, of solid gold. Okay, man. <laughs> see, let me let me touch. You can touch it. It's heavy. It it's is really it's heavy. heavy. All right. All right, Joe. Because even like, you know that little hand that, I think it's called the second hand? Yeah. It's gold. It's sweet. Okay. It's okay. Sweet. You don't know how to touch it. I, okay. I, what, I, no, you grabbed it like a fucking cookie. <laughs> you gonna buy you it, grabbed dude. it like the cookie. You're going to put it in your mouth? <laughs> no, I'm Are not going to put it in my it? fucking mouth. You hold the face. All right. Let me hold the face. Don't be a dick, man. See, you know what I would do it's when I get to your Joe? What I would do if I saw it the form, I would buy a watch to celebrate that. I'd buy a Daytona. You love. Uh. You love your watches. I love yeah. watches. And I, I have like a trophies. lot. And I wouldn't wear this. I have it's a lot of them. Heavy. Hey, B, you know, I bought I bought this when Fire the Kid 3D went number one on it. That's iTunes. beautiful, I by the way. You yeah. did. I remember you did. Yeah. I, I want yeah. that one. I Yeah, I, I love that one. <laughs> oh, that looks terrible on Brian. <laughs> it's just not for you. Let me see. How are you? You want to get into acting or... Uh... <laughs> I can help. That's you. a great watch. Why don't I help you with your audition? You have a bunch of them. Let's get you more. Yeah, I got a lot. Well, I only do Rolex. That's Dude, my favorite. That's genuine. I tell my son they're all for him. It's right? Genuinely, that's gonna end up genuinely with. heavy. Yeah, well, it's the heaviest and biggest one from Rolex. It's called gold, Brian. Why, yeah. right, dude? Okay, you don't even know what you're doing. Stop, stop. stop I don't bro. know how to... You're fucking making me nervous. Stop. Okay, ah. Stop. Oh, my <laughs> God. What the fuck, what? Joe? Give it to, give it to a All man right. that knows how to handle shit. <laughs> I'm literally just touching it. I got to lick my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, gold tastes good. Oh. <laughs> that is really heavy. Dude. And gold yeah. tastes fucking good. Uh, can you give it to. Can you give it to 
Oh no! I don't know how to do grape this. ape over here. I don't know how to. I don't know how to hold oh, that Jesus shit. Christ. Sorry, scratching it. Sorry to get my finger mung on it. I just got spit on my hand <laughs> from his fingertip. Let <laughs> me smell that gold. Hey, dude. I love you. Hey, dude. I'm just was, joking, by the way. You know that, right? That one. Well, yeah, we thought we you were, we we were dead serious. Thanks, Joe. We, you know what? That, Where's my camera? Where's that my, my camera? camera? <laughs> Which one's mine? <laughs> that one. The only one. Have you had work done on your face? Because you look tight. No, no, it's that's Asian. So, like, when you have Asian jeans, yeah. Yeah. you don't get that many lines across the forehead, mm -hmm. right? So yours is like like a tree. <laughs> like when you cut a tree, you can count. I say the it's age like, of the tree. You're being so shitty to well, me on like the show. Seven, Why well, say it's seven like a, There's like seven rings. Take, like, you're being so, so every, shitty. Every ring is ten years. Sure. Yeah. So that's like no. one, I say two, it's more like a seven. pack of bacon. No, don't seven. Say seven. It's like a pack of bacon. No. Yeah. Yeah. Like a pack of bacon. Don't the, say that about my face, man. I'm wearing makeup, so the the lines. So you, are, okay. So you know when you cut a tree? Yes. And you see the rings. I hate this you metaphor. You can count. You can count how old the tree is by the rings. I know you said. So like when you like like raise your eyebrows. No. Just raise your eyebrows. No. That's like act surprised real quick like look up with right, your eyebrows don't go just do it i won't i won't look up there okay well, wow. see that uh, each line is like seven years <laughs> no it's not and Joe. i count how many did you ca count ten it went uh, no six it went six don't what is seven times six i'm bad at math it's like 42? 79 or something 42 like. 40 here's the other thing <laughs> so then that's wrong no yeah that's wrong it must be it's Man, not it's not an exact do it again science. one more time fine i'm gonna do it again but don't yeah. I won't, I won't. Don't you be, know me. Don't I'm not, be shitty. I won't, I'm, I won't. I look oh, young. we forgot the line in the middle of his eyebrows. Too. Hey! The oh, one there's one like, on each brow, too. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah, so there's eight. No. So seven times eight is? 56, oh, dude. I'm and that's his age. <laughs> no. Holy shit! I'm 50. Holy shit! <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> your, your head is like dog ears. No. <laughs> each line is like seven years. You can't say my face is a tree and like dog ears. You can't say that. There's eight lines across your head. No, there's Times that by seven. Seven oh. times eight is what? It... If I get my eyelids, seven times eight is what, Brian? Seven times eight, fifty-six. 50, and how old are you? I'm fifty-three. Boom, Brian, fifty-six. Brian, Brian's thinking about getting his lids done, though. Yeah, I'm gonna are pull you? my lids. Yeah, we've talked about it. I can't see well. <laughs> I've aged. That's the difference between forty-nine and fifty-three. That yeah. my eyelids, eyes. you can't see my eyes. Yeah, it's and like he has a visor over both yeah. eyes now. And it's from years of boxing, sports, well, living close uh, to the bone. Okay. It's father all that time. Power, fucking all that stuff. It's father. I still time. fuck, by the way. A and lot. I fuck, I fuck dudes. well. Yeah, and and dudes. Fuck, well, who knows? But here's yeah. my question: You still fucking? <laughs> oh, look yeah. at you, blank face, huh? Hey, I was gonna tell you. I don't. I don't. Oh, wanna... now you're a prude. Look at you. I don't want to talk about that with you. <sighs> you just smile. You just swallowed with your mouth open. You went. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. Hey, hey, P, I'm sure no girls like the guy who sells. 60,000 tickets in two no, days. No. Let me ask you a question. Don't don't fucking betray with a swallow. Try to be. Yeah. Hey, bro. What? You, <laughs> you're already <laughs> fucked up. You're already anticipating. <laughs> Relax your fuck. <laughs> you have to. This makes you uncomfortable. I feel like Letterman just before he's about to do stand up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, take it easy. Look at me. Hold you're on. playing with your watch. I just want you to ask that question while holding this. <laughs> no, you're trying to deflect. Oh. Hey, Joe, we're here for, with friends. Yeah. Oh, you don't. You know what I want you to do, you Chim, fucking? Bring up, uh, bring up <sighs> Joe's uh, Sam Adams commercial. <sighs> that oh, made me cry. Jesus. That made me cry. Can I make you cry? We, that we, made no, me that cry. almost made us. Did it really? We started crying joking. on this. I had to get it together. Oh man, that's nice. You know, that's my mom. Because you know what was nice, Joe, is you did it for your mom, who actually was super considerate and enjoyed it. And then when I did it for Brian, he he didn't care. No, I did. I oh. did care. I actually almost jokes. I don't want to. This is my dream come true. Always that's the view from my house. Be a comic. And yo 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 Yoda, have you seen this? I'm Joe Coy, stand-up comedian. And I'm here to toast my mother. Oh, you're going to make me Just cry. <laughs> Harrison. Without her, none of this would have happened. Now, is that your I house? A lot yeah. All right, be cool, man. <laughs> be grateful. People be cool. Be us, fucking cool, dude. Act as That's my pool. They were supposed yeah, all right. It's the music well, that makes you too. sad. You help somebody. Look at this. No, it's a story that makes me yeah, sad. Yeah, you fucking thank me. Ungrateful shit. <laughs> my mom sacrificed everything to give me the opportunity to live my dream. And this toast was the best opportunity for me to say thank you. Now get your hazelnut my eyes out of my dad, fucking course, face, dude. Right this is my favorite commercial. I'm, I'm not kidding. Are you serious? I swear to God. I swear to God. Ours is not bad. Our family, when I said I wanted to be a comic, her head was like, what? <laughs> Are you crazy? 
That's your pool? Working yeah. In shoe store and still doing I know, it looks like a hotel. <laughs> it's not. Is that a Four Seasons? I'm doing this. Yeah. This is a great commercial. No. We live in a country where dreams are possible and it can happen. Just give me some time. <laughs> Since day one, I wanted to make sure that the world could laugh. And when I tell your story on stage, it's something that I'm very proud of. For years, I was like, how am I going to talk about my mom? I didn't want to go up on stage and just be like, oh, I'm Filipino. And Filipinos do this. I take the shades Listen, off, though. Man. You're going to be like, oh, my mom does the same shit. I mean, you're doing great, and I'm proud of you. You wanted me to be a lawyer. Well. We digress. <laughs> Now I see being a comedian, my goodness, I mean, you're 1,000% secure. Sam Adams, it's grassroots, it's family. What I take from that is the same thing that I got from my mom. And that's why Sam Adams is the best beer for this toast. The reason why I brought you here today is I wanted to toast you. This is hard. <laughs> Harder than I thought. When you came to this country, it was to give the kids an opportunity that you knew that you would never have. Everywhere I go, people will be yelling your name and they clap their hand and I know it's because of you. Mm -hmm. So I Jesus. also want you to know that I'm so proud of you. You see, you started this. <laughs> You're the reason why I've been able to do this. Thank you for everything you sacrificed. <laughs> so this is for you and I love you. Dude, I can't believe right, that. Dude, what are we doing? Dude, what I the fuck? I can't believe you made it that far without Dude, crying. I can't even take it. Bottoms up. Slow down, lady. <laughs> Slow down, dude, lady. Dude, that's fucking music, too. Do <laughs> you want some more? I mean, you could have put that to fucking... Uh, is that the purest form of love between a son and a mother, though? That's oh, like, I, don't, I can't believe you made it that far. Dude, I, uh, I can't take that commercial, man. Nah, you just made me cry. <sighs> Everybody's crying now. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I it's by far the most that powerful shit. one. That's amazing. The, the Sam Adam guys said in the cried. office, all of them cried. Or are you serious? All of them. The <laughs> it's owners, it's the everyone. music, everything and about it. And then they it. laughed at Mun and Brian's. Whatever. <laughs> Ours was great, but I look so old. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm a tree face in that one. <laughs> sure. It was, yes, but that's, I loved that's it. emotional too. I thought it was great. It was I great. loved it. I loved it, but I can't watch that either. That yeah. makes me emotional. But dude, I, I don't know. That show does, it on the thing. We don't do that enough. We yeah, never. You and I never do it. that. You and I never do that ever. Were you taking the time to just like you yeah know, thank somebody or you uh, know. if you want me to cry though? But you know, if you want me to cry, if I've if, if I've talked about my brother, my dad, my mom, or my yeah. kid, it's, Dude, yeah, that it. that was hard because, like, especially because my mom did not want me to be a comic for so long. She just didn't get what an it. Idiot, am I right? <sighs> right. Yeah. But it's like she's an immigrant mom. She comes from a very hard place. But that's how parents and, were. And back she wants, then, yeah? yeah. But we're talking about someone that came from the Philippines, so it's even yeah. harder where no she money. came from. Yeah. And her whole thing was like, I'm going to have kids, but I don't want my kid to be in the position where I was when I was his age. That's not why I came to America. Yeah. So for him, for me to choose something that, you know, to her is just like insane. 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 What are yeah. you doing? And then like, Mission I remember, impossible. I remember my son was, uh, when, uh, when I just had my son, he was like eight months old and she took all, all this money and gave it to me. And she goes, buy a car. Your son needs to be in a nice car. And she started crying. And I was just like, oh, as I'm working at Nordstrom Rack, chasing my dream to be a fucking comedian. Wow. You know what I mean? And wow. I'm just like, God, like, but I didn't want to like tell her I'm going to, you know, I didn't want to say I'm going to quit. Okay, mom, you're right. Like, I, yeah. uh, just give me some time. It's going to happen. Yeah, story, that's incredible. That's so, a, it's incredible. What a story. It's a you know what's interesting now is like, let's say your son wants to be a comic. It's just, it's obviously you have a different uh, perspective because you are such a successful comic, but it's just like, even if he wants to be a comic, the chance of making it's not good. No. Especially growing up when well, his dad how was, was I when Joe you, Coy. How was I when you told me you wanted to be a comic? Yeah. Brennan was like, I want to be a comic, and I was like this. He does a joke about it, but I was like, oh! <laughs> like, my voice got high. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. You, oh, well, I will. You want it? That's what you want it. You know, it's like because yeah. Todd, Todd Feldman tells a story about how when uh, my first set in the belly room, how he sit next to you, and you're like, "Man, he's so brave." But it, I mean, this isn't it. You know, it's it's taking at least fifteen years. Well, look, I like, couldn't man. help but worry. You no, know I know. Me. I know. I mean, it's like yeah, a, some it's say like, hate, but whatever. No, um, no. No, 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 no. I'm I, just kidding. No, you're I just, right. I was just, I just know the business. I just yeah, I know, know it. I, I know, like, but that's what I'm saying. Like I was talking to Michael Rapport yesterday because he had this uh, interview. Um, I forget what was on on Vox or something with uh, Tylee Khalib, I think that's how you say his name. 
but rap was talking about how when he was a kid in new york how he would go to these all black neighborhoods and he'd be on his bike and it was like the hood like brownsville and they would call him a white mike and he was the only w a white kid but like he just learned like that street code and that's how he got was able to talk shit and that's just that's what make makes mike rapport mike rapaport right he's an yeah. amazing dude and I, I see the interview and I, I text him. I was like, Do I love the interview? A lot of stuff I didn't know about you. I said, Doesn't it bother you? Your kids will never experience that. I know where you live. You know mm -hmm. where I live. Mm -hmm. Our kids are never going to experience that. Like the, like, and I'm not saying gang member shit. I'm talking like that street code where like I'd be on my bike, you know, and we'd go to this neighborhood and play pick up ball here or something like that. Yeah. Kids aren't doing that. Man. No, they're not. You're right. I my kid doesn't even leave that. the house. Yeah. We we have we have a hoop there. We have the pool. We yep. have video games. I, I would say though the, the way to get like, out of that do, the way to yeah. get out of that maybe is to just like I, the only thing I would try to do with my kids is to get them to be into something. Mm -hmm. And and then when you try to get really good at anything, no, and that's know, what I'm not talking about. Be the the, 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 the kind of hobbies. About life no, I'm, I'm talking like tangible. yeah, like street lights were on and like it'd be a little dicey because I'd be going through this neighborhood or me and my brother you know would beat th these guys in basketball and you know that they didn't like that and it's just like this. Isn't like that you, part of living in LA though? Like, in other words, because this is why this why I told my girl. I went. This is why we're not going to. But I said this is why I consider moving back to Venice because you can get it in Venice a little bit. You got to watch your P's and Q's in Venice. Yeah, you can go down Abbott Kenny, but you go to the boardwalk on a Saturday or in certain areas in Venice. You got to watch your P's and Q's. In yeah. Santa Monica, you're not getting it. Palisade, you're not getting it. Yeah, but you, I, there's a sense of danger which I don't want as a father. Yeah, but also I kind of do want. You know, do what you, I'm saying? Do you at, think least, at least a mix up with different people, right? Like a, you get uh, coming into contact. One of the things about New York City is that you can't help but to be next to a homeless guy, next to a dude that has no money, who has a lot of money. You're, you're around people who are different, right? That's in LA though too. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm saying, but, 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 Not in the palisade, but you have to negotiate no. it when you're walking down the street in New York, right? Mm -hmm. You smell it. You actually are touching it. You're, yeah, you're having to contend streets. with it. Yeah, but maybe yeah. in Denver, you know, growing up in Denver, it was like I dealt with everyone, man. Yeah, mm -hmm. predominantly black neighborhood. Ride our bikes everywhere. Sports, sports, and yeah. shoes were the way you you know you stood out from people. It was like you know. Yeah, yeah I, I was talking to I forgot who I was talking to, but I was just like, I, I remember I was on the road and I was getting an Uber for my son so he can go to his friend's house, and I was just like, bro, when I was his age, if I went to my friend's house, it was either walk. Or ride my bike. Yes, I didn't call my mom uh -uh. and arrange a ride. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and that was a very big decision. I remember my friend be like, "Yo, get over here," and I'm like, "All right, see you in five minutes." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hour. yeah sure. And I would ride my bike through the rain. But I appreciated it more. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like it was mm -hmm. a big deal to get to my friends. Now mm -hmm. they're just, you know, I don't know what you do. I don't know what you do. I think that there are new challenges for kids in our day and age digitally. Yeah, I mean, I think yeah. I think every generation is going to have their own set of issues to ne to negotiate, navigate, and that maybe is no longer relevant. But there'll be something else that. But it's that also forms like your character. Also, back like I hope like you know the, back then we didn't we weren't aware of all the dangers like we the kidnappings and the rapings and people doing the stuff to kids and now you're very aware of it. Oh yeah. So now there's helicopter parents, but yeah. you so know. Jonathan Hyde said that that's like. That is your chances of a child being abducted are literally so small, but we are all terrified of it because it's the unimaginable, right? And so it 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 was. I guess there were some high profile cases. Milk cartons had kids on them, and it just changed how everybody parented their kids. Everybody, everybody. Well, yeah, I'd, I'd rather yeah. Because so, so you, you, don't you were not be allowed. It used to be you were allowed to let an eight year old, nine year old go to the park alone. You are never. you are I would not never. allowed. That's I a law. Never. You will get arrested. I would never. But yeah. you know what? Here's the other thing. I would play I, tennis until midnight. Yeah, dude. We play basketball, park. football. To I can name the park too. Everybody was Here's fine. another thing. I can name the park of my childhood park. It's Sprinkler <clears throat> Recreation. Yeah, mine's Utah Park. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. My son does not have a park. <laughs> we used to play tennis and basketball all night. Summer, we would go until fucking yeah. like 1 a.m. And we'd play we'd, with the lights on. We'd drink like Coca-Cola and we'd mm -hmm. be straight, man. We would and do, we would do heroin. The other thing. We would do heroin. No, <laughs> what? Whoa, dude. <laughs> You're trying to one-up us now. Hey, I don't Joe, know, which, which one's my camera? Oh, well, man, I don't know. Joe, here's the other heroin. thing. How old were you guys? Let's see these Eight. kids do heroin. Oh, shit. Don't <laughs> challenge the kids to do that. That's not a Do badge. heroin, kids. <laughs> oh, fuck. Don't fight off. the kid. No, don't. <laughs> No, don't say kids heroin little, and fighter in a, a kid. heroin, play some basketball, get a little suck. Oh, uh, no. Hey, oh, man. God damn it, Joe. That's not Joe. what we're talking about. You're trying about to ruin our this. brand. Fighter in the kid heavily endorses this message. Watch, watch, watch <laughs> how I go stop. Heroin and dick suck. Go, far, go find your park. Watch how I stop this. Hey, you fuck, bro. 
<laughs> Stops him in his tracks. <laughs> Man, you can't you can't even swallow it right now. This I asked you a question. Tonight, dude. I asked you a question. I'm gonna ask you again. Do you fuck? You can't even answer it, dude. Man, you might be a phony. Sixty thousand tickets, my ass. Are you dipping? No, no, no. That's real though. You should have seen the deposit I made today. Oh, <laughs> yeah, dude. And that's real tough. And, and if you want to challenge me on a bet, no, I'll, I, I'll pull it out. I brought my backpack. No, just in case. I don't. If you want to go wallet bluff, for wallet, dude. if you want to go wallet for wallet, I don't. Because, well, since you were bragging about that goddamn TV set, you got to get to. No, but that's you said it when we were getting coffee. Brent, were you right next to me, Brendan, when he said that? Yeah, he did. He goes, well, "I got to hurry up and let's get this pot. Out. I got to get to the TV set." And you That's and I you laughed said. pretty and hard. We both laughed hard because both. We both so if you want to do what we do, let's do it, bro. Hey, you want to settle a bet? Wallet for wallet. No, I, that's so gauche. No, I'm just saying, I have an envelope full of money. No. You can challenge that, or you can go with the deposit slips. I did Sam Trip show last do. night, and I got fucking cash on me, too. You picked, Brian. <laughs> yeah, but I have a lot. Let me borrow some money. <laughs> uh, oh, I but what I was saying about kids, too, B, when I left, there was no cell phones. So and my, my my parents think like, whatever yeah you go in the park he's good you're going to the park just make sure you're at the park we'd yeah. be at the park then we come back but now there's cell phones tracking them I I think we're better but, off yeah. taking a chance on our kids I think we're better off taking a chance and letting your kids do stuff on their own and taking that chance at the end of the day that's the irony of it all you're better off you might be doing more harm ironically by cloistering helicoptering and let them play on their own and navigate their own well, I, think th I think there's a difference between helicoptering and then just being like present kids aren't allowed to play alone and then settle their own problems either what happens is kids go to an authority figure now because there's always somebody watching and supervising playtime mm -hmm. and the, jonathan height writes, writes about this it's a problem because it used to be kids fucked around one kid got bullied yeah and guess what figured it out well, that's or at certain schools for sure yeah but now it's like it's all being supervised. It's really weird, and, and it's, it's interesting to see where we're headed. Yeah. You, okay. Here's here's my problem with that. Is uh, is there a difference like now that this whole bully thing, and and then there's people supervising, but I still feel like the kids are still individuals because my son, he ain't part of this whole conversation right now. What do you mean? Whatever. Just like this whole like. This movement, this this kid movement, and anti bullying, and everyone's supervising, blah blah blah. And my son is not even in. Like one, I don't even talk to him about that shit, and he's got his own uh, opinion about it, and makes fun of it. Maybe right? Yes. Yes. So right. like like, but his but, dad's wait, Joe but Coy. on the news, but on the news, but his dad's Joe Coy. You know, my I know, but what Joe. I'm saying is, his, it's his like, dad's Joe Coy. But the other thing you got to worry about too is like. Like when, especially you guys, you guys are older. When, like, when you get bullied at school, especially you guys. But when you guys got bullied at school, <laughs> oof, go. <laughs> but when you, oof, when you guys got bullied at school, oof, you're something right yeah, now. Oh, you know, you were always man. my favorite. I know. I'm, I'm being you mean cool. to know that, and I'm you're being, being really I mean know. right so now. I mean, mostly, mostly him. Okay, mostly him. him. Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> you went, you know, you yeah. know what I'm talking about. Right. But when you get bullied in school, you go home, you and it was like, all right, I gotta face that tomorrow. Whatever, we'll navigate yeah. through it. But now kids are getting bullied. It's 24 7 yeah bullying uh, online twitter instagram just toxic shit all 24 7 for those kids so it's just a different game man. yeah that's true they also have that t did you say twitter bullying too or like uh instagram bullying instagram yeah i think kids snapchat make fun of this, bullying though. is there snapchat bullying? i don't, I don't know I, I i don't my, my son is on snap he's not on instagram oh really yeah so i don't know oh. if there's comments and shit on instagram i don't know I'm do they do that on, on there do does, they do snapchat they, bullying can you, can you hate on people on snap yeah, I mean, I had a younger cousin who, uh, when she was still in high school, what the like popular girls would do was post photos of her onto their Snapchat, and then people would start a thread. Just Damn, clowning on her, yeah. fucked up. Wow. Now, now think, think oh. about it. And you know what those people age? are called? Oh. You know what those people are called? Bitches. I Bitches. agree. Those are bitches. Oh. That's so awful, man. Some real cunt out there. Yeah, they're, oh, ooh, they're cunts. It's they're just, cunts. it's social. Cunt. So High girls, they cunts. say, are socially way more aggressive than boys. Oh, absolutely. And so boys are physically aggressive. They'll punch you in the face. Girls, girls destroy will, each other socially. They destroy your clicking. soul. They're fucking clicking. Yeah, they destroy your my soul. My daughter's in middle fucking school, trans. and middle school girls, their anxiety levels have like, my, my daughter, thank God, is just into what she's into. She mm -hmm. does her thing, but I mean, it's really hard for yeah. some of those girls. They're yeah, just, I they're feel just sorry for how old? Huh, my son's seven. He's going to be 17 in two months. Fuck, I he's can't believe I thick, just said he's that. He's in the thick I of it. Know. He's in the Damn thick man. of it. Yeah. No, nah, he's cool, though. Were you man. bullied? No, I'm just saying, as far as you like weren't bullied, social media and everything. Yeah, no, I wasn't bullied. I was so funny, though. Yeah, you were funny. I was, and, I, and I was so, like, I was insecure, but my, my humor got me through it. Me too. 
So I was, I was, I was, I was athletic. blessed. I was, athletic in, I was blessed in high school. You were an athletic. I was I was you were an athletic. <laughs> I was no, super no, athletic, really was. good looking. Athletic. So I never had any no, problems. No, no, no. And I was funny. How crazy. Your hair was thread. thinning and your face was always old. Because I saw a baby <laughs> That's picture. That's an unfair thing to I say. I saw a baby picture of your face. Take it back. Benjamin and usually, button. well, usually babies have a lot of wrinkles and they go, he'll grow into it. Yeah. Because it's loose skin. Yeah. You've never grown into it. <laughs> you still have the wrinkle face. That's fair. Being such a jerk to me right now, and I'm. I would stop sunbathing. I don't sunbathe. I would stop sunbathing. I stay out of the sun. I'm on set all day. That's that's smart. On soundstage in front yeah. of lights, 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 lights. Um. Well, this is a. I, I'm really uh, jealous of your success. <laughs> hey, you're being sarcastic. Show my camera. <laughs> that stop <laughs> laughing. I'm, I thought you. Hey! Fuck. I'm so jealous. I want to be on a set. You're being a jerk, dude. I'm proud of my fucking TV no, show. I, no, I, I love your show. It's very funny. Your cast is amazing. Tim, come on. Tim is amazing. Why don't you come? Did you guys rap already, B? Is this the last uh, week? I got four more episodes. That's dope. Oh, well, you lied to us. <laughs> You said this was last week. You no, no, dude, why do you week, lie? Was, that is true. He did say no, that. No, I said, you don't know. <laughs> I was no, I show up on you the bandwagon. I remember that. No. Yep. I remember you that. saying that. And you're no. like, this is my last. Yep. Dude, you lie a no, lot. No. Lie, lie. No, listen. Um, <laughs> no, I, I just, I, I mean, just the bullshit. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Uh, did you did you see the, did you have, after this did you have a favorite movie? Did you like Joker more than Parasite? Oh, I haven't seen Parasite yet. Ooh. And you guys are you guys are gonna hate me. Well, I, I haven't seen Parasite. I have no desire. I to. I is that weird? I Man, I I, Joaquin is amazing. I, I couldn't. I can't. I, Joker. I, just, I couldn't. It's a heavy movie. It's too heavy. It's man. super heavy. I'm sorry, man. Acting phenomenal. Yeah. Joaquin is amazing. Will you miss Brian? Duh. Will you miss Brian? But I loved movie? it. I loved it. I thought it was a masterpiece. I personally did. But that's just me. But it's, it's a not masterpiece, good. but. It's heavy. It's, yeah, it's I watched heavy. it on the plane. It's hard. Yeah. From San Antonio, yeah. I was like, oh, my, this movie's it's too heavy. heavy. I don't know. Yeah, man. It's heavy. it's heavy. Dude, movies are like music. It, there's genres. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And that that's not my genre. Yeah. That's I, I can't. I, I, there's some people that love that. Do you have a favorite Bobby movie? Lee loves to cry. Yeah. Bobby Lee loves a movie that makes him cry. It's like, I, I cried at uh, fucking Harry Potter. He'll say some dumb shit like that. I'm like, what? Yeah, it's yeah. gay. He's like, yeah, do, do you not understand the story? I'm like, oh, weird. Bobby, what the fuck are you talking he's about? He's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Bobby's great. He's amazing. Like, he is I'm amazing. I'm so glad he's my friend. Like, I love Bobby. I fucking love what him. What a comic. He's the best. You're not Bobby's friend unless you've seen his dick eight times. <laughs> That's probably true. At least eight times. And it's exactly how you think it is. It's just yeah, it's exactly Asian what you dick. think it is. Yeah. <laughs> what the very straight, very straight pubic hair. Yeah. yeah. Very straight pubic hair. And then yeah. he just has that hot girlfriend. Good for him, dude. I know you got a dick. Blessed. You got a dick. Go get your dick you, out. And you fuck, huh? And you use it. Uh, and right? you use it. You okay? Joe? Joe, come back. Joe? Joe? <laughs> Did you have the birds of the bees talk with your son? No. No. No, no I caught that kid jerking off. He's, he's, you he's got him good. jerking it? Uh, yeah. It yeah. It's tall. Yeah, my dad. But said, I didn't catch him. Like, Dad. No, you knew just, what was up. I knew. Yeah, I was like, "What's up? What's up?" You what want me doing? to tell you how I caught him? Yeah, please. Are you guys ready for this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You install a camera, bro. In you're here? gonna fuck you. Which one's my camera? Is it the small one <laughs> or the big one? Ah, uh, whichever one you want. By the way, that's Yoda, my camera guy. Uh -huh. Shout out to Yoda. And he does all my videos. That's awesome. Doesn't speak a word and, of English. Not a word of English. Uh, <laughs> yep, he doesn't speak one word of English. Not one word. But we communicate well. Yoda. Uh. A lot of hand gestures, so that's how he, he looks. Bowing, he looks super friendly. He's, He's very, very sweet, friendly. Very sweet Shout out man. to Yoda. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna tell. So that's story. Yoda. And um, let me get my hand down. My you know what's crazy, Brian? Is uh, we were uh, when I introduced him to Yoda, and I go, he doesn't speak any English. And then Brian walks up to me, he looks at me, he goes, "How does it work? I'm like, how does it work? How do you, how do you guys communicate?" Yeah. And you know what Joe said? You know what Joe said? He kicked the chair. He he pushed the chair with his foot. He went. If I want him, I just go. Mm. Yeah. And he kicked the chair. And I went, That's so disrespectful, dude. You're too rich now. But did he get up? He did. He did. Can't, and bow. I know, Joe, but you can't. You can't use your foot. No. Now you're. Now you're. No. Don't do it. No, man. That's so. Hey, no. He's getting hey, hit, Brian. Come. No, dude. Stop gesturing. That's so rude. No. Yoda. No. Look no, at Yoda. No. Look, Kim, no. Look, Kim. Uh, 
No, Yoda. <laughs> Yoda, no, show you don't world have, tour. You show don't world have to tour do shirt. this. Show world tour shirt. You don't have to do okay, this, go. dude. You don't have to do this. <laughs> Fuck, you're go. being. Oh, that's the other thing. Joe has Did some you... of the best merch in the game. Yo, huh. Hey, you're being <laughs> super disrespectful. <laughs> turn, oh wow. No, turn, no, he's show, not your. He's not your show date. Show he, date. He's not your goddamn show date. Show date to camera. Yeah. He's yeah. not your goddamn <laughs> robot, man. Go. Oh, hey, man. Fuck, oh, wow. Joe, that's so rude. <laughs> Yoda, I'm sorry. You don't have to do this. This is America. This is not acceptable. <laughs> so, Fuck, the guy's bowing to him now. Why are you doing? You're doing a karate uh, bow. Karate. Do you study karate? <laughs> yeah, I, I study karate. I didn't know that because yeah, yeah, that was yeah. clearly a fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I study and I know the difference. Yeah. Let me see your fist. We need a Yoda. Oh, there's there's a lot of cuts and Dude, marks. you train? Yeah, I train. Secretly? Yeah. Wow. I'll fight, man. What? As long as there's sharp objects or glass around. Yeah. You're down. I'm going to use it. If I come at you. <laughs> I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. <laughs> Ask a Chicago diner 15 years ago. What happened? So if I come at you. you <laughs> I'll throw something at your fucking face. Jesus. But what's crazy is your face is made of leather. No. So it won't oh, cut. Tough. No. You've been you really don't cut. You've been mean to my you face. You don't cut. Yes, I do. You don't cut. I bleed just like everybody else. Yes, I do. I bleed just like everybody else. And I cry. And I and I, you ever try and tear leather in half? Yeah. You can't. Impossible. That's your face. No. <laughs> no. That's your face. You're being, Which one's my camera? You're being <laughs> so rude to hit you, Yoda, small one? and to me. Is it the small one? Yeah, it's the big one. It's the big one. The, the big one. Okay. Man, wealth has made you such a jerk, dude. Stop it. You're mean I'm to him and me. I'm jealous of the Yoda, though. I want my own Yoda. Yo, dude, online. Does he have a brother? No, you just go online. Yeah, he has a brother, and he's not talking to him, so it would be kind of cool to... <laughs> I have both of them. Tell have the, both of them. Tell the story. In tell, the same room, they won't even talk to each other. Yeah, tell Yoda yeah. I want his brother for hire. Uh, no, no. <laughs> God. Money. God damn it, dude. <laughs> Please stop doing that to Yoda. He's a human being. He's not your fucking servant. Hey, is his brother named Yoshi? Uh, God damn it. He's summoning him to get wa water. No, Yoda, no. No, Yoda, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. Stop doing that with your hand, Joe. You're fucking so rude. Admit, God, I'm so jealous. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Throw it out. Joe, can you tell the jerk off story, please? Ah, oh, fuck, man. I want my own so, Yoda, but I, yeah. I want to call him Yoshi. Oh, you can have a Yoshi. That'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm so I'm so appalled at this shit. Oh, Are you offended? I'm so offended, right? Do you know what's crazy about but, the whole thing? I have a huge heart on. <laughs> I know. It turns me on too. I don't know why oppression turns me on. Yoda speaks English, you jerk off. Right. Come on, man. <laughs> you really didn't think he spoke English? Yeah, I swear I didn't. Brian, oh, wow. Brian honestly thought wow. he did not speak English. I swear to really? God, because he was looking at me going, "I knew it from the jump." Oh, man. Man. oh, this is a very. This guy is from Japan and he's super polite. I didn't know you. I, I truly. Didn't. You thought he was a robot? Wait, hold on. Unbelievable. Do you speak English fluently? Yeah, yeah. yeah. God damn it! I am from Japan. Yeah. Okay, but he is from Japan. <laughs> he looks so friendly. Oh, he's so friendly. Not he's the sweetest. Have you ever seen the Japanese? The most the amazing Japanese are samurais. They're he's ferocious. the most amazing camera guy in the world. He does friendly. all my videos on my Instagram. Does a great job. He's oh, one really? guy. It looks like multi-camera. It's just him. He's got three cameras. He runs back and forth. He he gets the shots. He comes with you everywhere. Cuts them up. I take him everywhere. And then you have that DJ too. I have a DJ. That's yeah. A, that's the other thing I, I tell people all the time. I was talking with some other. Oh, in San Antonio with the comics. I was saying the one, th well, one of the many things you do well, A, your marketing, your merch, but uh, for the, the one time I opened for you in Brea, it's a show, man. There's a DJ. I it's gotta, like, I it's gotta a, come. It's, I you know, you know, like when you, yeah, when, like around. when you come out, it's like, you know, stand up and kind of boring. Like he's like fucking, it's a show. Oh, West Palm Beach, they're already yeah. screaming. Brendan the killed, by the way. I want you to know that. I'm going to come out. Kill, you killed that shit. Yeah, I told you, man, just get I'm on coming. stage. I'm coming. I'm coming. Do you put heat in front of you? Yeah. You promise? You mean good comments? Like a oh, Always. not good, great. Oh, I. You know what I do? Do not put I, you know what fucking I do? buffers I, I in take, front of you. I take young, really talented people with a lot of potential. I don't take somebody who and and the guys who like, no. You got to put fucking bangers but I do. in front of you. I always do. Leo Flowers, eight years in the game. Okay. Fucking, yeah. Crushes. I, yes. Stevie uh, Blue Eyes crushed all the time. Good. Now my boy Malik B, who's. Young yeah. and fucking people no, no, love no one, that does, was like, no one does it like Rogan though. You want to talk about bringing k k k killers like legit? I would always bring killers. I don't care. Beast comic. I yeah. bring beasts. Yeah, but that's how you. Chris D'elia used to open for that's me. Right. Uh, this kid now, Eric Schwartz kills for me. He's great. Uh, Eric bro, is great. Eric will get like standing O's in he's front of me, huge. and then I look at him and go, 
all right, I'm going to make sure they forget your name. And then I walk out like, this, like, and I fuck it. <laughs> all right, man, take it easy. No, all I do. Right. <laughs> all right. Where's all my right. camera? Oh, man. <laughs> but that's what you got to do. I learned I that agree. from uh, Cedric the Entertainer. I opened for, did I tell you this story? No. no. I opened for Cedric the Entertainer. God, what and a this monster. was like, uh, this was like 15 years ago. And I had my son. I remember the Indian reservation wouldn't let my son on. And Cedric was like, just let him on, man. Like, just let him in. Because they were like strict. Can't have kids? kids on the property. Yeah, because I had a baby. It's a casino. Yeah. And uh, and I'm just begging. I had nowhere to go. Like all, I got my kid. You know what I mean? So uh, he get he, somehow he gets him to come in, uh, lets him in, and uh, and I go up and I do my fucking I do my Tonight Show set, bro. I'm doing all those fucking bangers, just ba ba ba, like 15 jokes, compact into like what we, I think he gave me like 10 minutes. Yeah, I I got them all in there, man. Just bangers, bangers. Good night, ba. Three thousand people. They're jumping up. I'm walking off stage. In my head, I'm like, you ain't going to be able to follow that. You're like, good luck, bro. Yeah. No, I'm being serious. Yeah. You yep. ain't, you're not going to follow yep. that shit. And I look to my left, and Cedric's got his goddamn fedora on, <laughs> matching outfit. You know what I mean? And he's bouncing. He's looking. He's like, that's what I'm talking about, Joe Coy. Make me work for that fucking money tonight. Let's go. That's and he shook my hand and walked past me. Uh, and I'm like, what the fuck? Fuck just happened. Yes. Confidence. Because I would have never said I would have been, been like, philosophy. fuck this show. Yeah. And it was done. I, I swear to God, bro, it blew was the roof. Done. That's it always been blew my the always the been my philosophy. And every time I hear about a comic who has like some shitty comic, I'm like, that guy's fucking doesn't have any confidence. Yeah. Like, you're a what bitch. Is that? You're a bitch. What are those? You softball lob? What the, what you the don't fuck? really you hear about people having shitty comics for openers anymore. Yeah, you do. Though. I know, man. I mean, I mean, nowadays there's so many good comics to it. choose from. But no, you, you got it. You if you don't, uh, and it's not fair to your audience no. either. Like you're gonna charge all that them money. A good you got to give them a good show. Yes. You got to show them like one. You're the headliner, so like you make sure that whoever's in front of you crushes. And then you show everybody what a headliner does. Well, I've yeah. always said that 20% of the audience, if, if 20% of the audience is saying, ah, the feature should have been the headliner, you're doing your job. Like, that's a great show. Yeah. I mean, I, I remember Mike Young. None Mike, of them say that for me. All, right, all of dude, them say you don't 100%, know. <laughs> you are the headliner. Not yeah, they're not and confused. I'm making a point, Did you even Joe? have someone open? Like, they'll say that. I'm making a point, that, No, Joe. I know, I know. But Fuck. I'm just saying, like, for me, no. they usually go, holy shit, did even... Was there anybody else on this we show? Don't like they completely else. forgot. I don't did you, that, that said, I heard the story about Cedric the Entertainer when they did that uh, the Kings of Comedy tour. Yeah. So it was Cedric, uh, Steve Harvey, Steve. Bernie by the way, Mac, you, you're, this is crazy. Are we Hughley. on the same wavelength right now? Like What's I'm up, not bro? even joking with you because the Jim Carrey reference. I, uh, I literally just saw that yesterday. This that Grinch thing, friends. and yeah. then this Kings of Comedy. You can look at my Netflix queue. I just watched it the other day, Such two days ago. Am I lying, Yoda? No, yeah, two days ago we watched it. He's never seen it before, and and, and I was just like, oh my god, I could not believe Steve was the fucking host. It, it, did you? But that was a fucking. He blew the roof monster. off but that bitch, that, that, and then Dio went up and fucking murdered. slayed it, murdered. Yeah. But you know, B Bernie Mac at the time he was gonna uh, like host, and yeah, the opener, yeah. They did one show. And, and they were like, uh -uh. everyone was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, you need to be but the headliner. What, what, they, they were, so DL Hughley wasn't in the originals. There was another guy. And when they went somewhere, the guy complained he didn't have his own. I forget who it is. The people find out. Really? They, they, so they had three limos, and he didn't have his own. And he looks at Steve Harvey, who organized everything. And he was like, yo, man, where the fuck's my car? Steve went, excuse me? He goes, where the fuck's my car? He goes, cool story, dude. They did that show. They kicked him off. Which guy is this? I brought in Bernie? Wait, who was it? Who got well, killed? I don't know the comic, oh, okay. but they wow. but, but they kicked because he You're was You're kidding me. Wow. But the first night, Bernie goes You know on what that can I and crush like harder than all of them. They went they they all had in the in the locker room that night were like, so Bernie's gonna go last from now on. And everyone's like, Yeah, yeah, everyone's of course. Like, Cedric, no DL, Harvey. Awesome. On the Not height of the, the, the Chitlin circuit. Like, Ugh, like no one knew who the fuck Bernie was. This guy was doing he wasn't even doing improvs. This dude was literally doing the underground circuit yep so for him to come out swinging like that is just fucking I, my favorite part of that whole thing is i like the mini docs that they put in between oh, each too. act and um and the one with bernie when he literally looked at the camera he goes it's my turn motherfuckers yep. they already got shows i need a show yep. give me a fucking show Damn. man Dude, they, they did, said not only did he get a show oh, yeah. he <laughs> they, he got the movies he got everything amazing. what people forget too is uh Bernie at the time when they got done with Kings of Comedy Tour, those other guys were pretty set. But fucking Bernie, Bernie here, 
Bro, he, Ocean's Eleven. Well, they well oh, Ocean's Twelve. Who was oh Cedric was on Mark Marin, and he goes. Pe- what people don't realize is Bernie uh, couldn't go anywhere. Like yeah. he was like Chappelle at what Bernie Chappelle, Mac, what Chappelle yeah. is now. Mm-hmm. Bernie Mac back then, his tickets. What would a bummer! Sell out he died. He had that disease that that <sighs> makes your lungs sucks, cement. If, Cedric, I don't, if I don't pee now, I'm gonna die. Let me. Just oh really? Yeah, you pussy. Yeah. Do we go to break? No, keep going. No, you and I, yeah. you and I, kind of connect. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing. We're actually, oh, man, it's actually be probably better. The fighter in the koi. <laughs> That's right. But yeah, uh, <laughs> fighter in the koi. Well, there's a K already there. Don't say that, Can you record that? Can you record that? No. I want this documented. There's already a K. No. Nope. So the That's fighter in the koi so kind of flows. Go to your set, bro. <laughs> Which one's my camera, bro? <laughs> Which Ready? one's the camera, bro? Yeah, but they they said Bernie Mac, man. After that, just unbelievable. Couldn't go anywhere. They, he was basically what Chappelle is now back then. Because uh, Cedric was saying, like, people forget. Like, he had a set. that uh, He had a seven-minute set that he did for TV before he got on. And uh, Cedric said it's the, the best stand-up he's ever heard in his life. Oh. He said no. Like, it, he would do it all over, and nobody wanted to follow him. Oh, shit. Just such a monster, man. Monster, but man. Steve Harvey was the brains behind all this. Oh, yeah. It, it showed, He's too. a boss, man. Dude, I'm telling you, though, that opening set, I was like, What? in the fuck no i remember looking at yoda i go yoda i go dl's gotta follow that yep he's gotta follow that i saw dl uh hugely at one of my favorite uh restaurants yeah sit by himself oh that's cool dope hat yeah well i got i finally got to do dl's show and i just i paid homage to the man and uh and i told him how much money i saved up just to watch him perform at the aladdin theater yeah uh, when I was living in Vegas, of it, how yes. I was addicted to uh, Comic View and how it was my dream to be on that show. Oh, wow. And uh, and the way I got Comic View was crazy. I was working at the Dolphin Habitat and I found out that Comic View was actually in Vegas doing a show. And I asked my manager if I can get off. And I, and I literally went home, put my suit on and uh, had a fake, uh, that's me right there. Is and had a there? fake, no, that's Apollo. Uh, co- that's Comic View. And then uh, put that suit, that very suit right there is the one I put on. Jesus. And Whoa. I went to the event where, where Comic View was, went to the security guard. When has the security guard ever helped anybody? Never. And I go, hey, I'm a comic and I just want to try and get up. Is there any way I can talk to the promoter? And he went and got the promoter. Wow, what a good dude. Yeah, so he went and got the promoter. Her name's Yvette Anderson. Big shout out to Bo P and Yvette Anderson. She came to the door. She goes, we already got our show set. Uh you know, I wish I would have known about you, but the next time we come back to Vegas, we'll put you on, right? Wow. So I was like, oh, uh, all right, it's all good. There was a huge line to get in. I was talking about how I got Comic View. Yeah. And um, and there was a huge line to get in. And she looked at him. She goes, do you still want to watch the show? I go, fuck yeah. You got to remember, this is like 1995 or some shit. I can't remember when. Is that you? 96? Yeah, that's me. Oh and then uh, no, you and then she let me in, right? And it's packed. It's packed. And all the comics are late. Duh. Right? And uh, she looked at, and everyone in the crowd's going crazy. Like, they're pissed like, because they're like, go. it's 45 minutes late. Yeah. Like, it's supposed to start at eight. It's like almost nine. And then, uh, and she goes, Do you want to go up? And I remember she had this <coughs> this big ass camera. It was a camera, uh, a Canon GL. It was maroon and white. It was like, I, I knew what that camera was because I always wanted it. It was like a $5,000 camera. And I, was, I, I always wanted that camera. And I go, I go, If I go up, can you please record it with that camera? Because I wanted to use it as, tape tape yeah and she goes oh yeah got it and she set it up for me and i yeah. went up i still have the video and uh and i went up fuck i get a standing o fuck, right dude and uh and then bo p and her were on the side of the stage and uh bo p goes we're gonna put you on comic feed and that's literally how i got it. i was working at the dolphin habitat fuck man and i remember going to work the next the day dolphin habitat i was working at the dolphin as habitat as a tour as guide in, as in dolphins yeah, yeah. i was a tour guide tour and it, one of the tour guides goes comic view is here because I was such a comic view fan. I was such a D.O. Hughley fan and Cedric fan. And, uh, and I was like, what? And, and I literally asked my manager if I can God. go home. And I, I literally walked up to the door with a, a fake resume. <gasps> and I handed it to the security guard. And that's how I got on Cause that you get, show. Because you feel like you're getting closer to what you want. Like it's, yeah. And I literally, so I, you don't how even understand. Brian, Brian, this is how much I, I was doing it at maybe 
Six years. Yeah. Maybe six years. And you're doing oh, you're doing mics. No, and, and Vegas didn't have comedy clubs. No, back you're then. doing mics. So I was doing literally doing like, like coffee houses and shit. Yes, yeah. Wherever yeah. you can. Uh, I, I, the, the big club back <gasps> then was a, a big movie theater. Dude, it's such a grind. It's let, such a grind when you're yeah. it's like back then, before you could even get an audience. Like, no, you, no, know, no, you don't understand. It was such a grind. Like just, yeah, it was just so the, hard. Just waiting. There was no comedy club. All the comedy clubs were closing across the country. Do you remember the comedy Comic View was close. I mean, uh Comedy Central was basically it, it, it was a good thing because everyone got to see get exposure for comics, but it was a bad thing because no one was going to the comedy clubs anymore because now they're watching stand up on comedy, comedy Central. Remember, there'd be twelve people mm -hmm. in the original room. It was they, they, nobody. The main room was always empty. Yeah. Nobody was in the main room. Nobody was ever. There. And the, the the original room would have twelve people in it. And yeah. We'd be doing. Uh, it was always such. Dude, a I you know what was on my resume uh, when I handed it to this uh, to the promoter. I, it said I opened for Bruce Baby Man, Baby Man Bomb. Do you know him, Bruce Bomb? Remember him and Vic Dunlop. Those are my and oh, bro. God damn it, and I... she let me in, and literally I got Comic View, and they flew me out two weeks later. I was on Comic View. And, and where was Comic View filmed at? It was in the uh, uh, at the Commerce Casino, I think, like somewhere here in LA. That's Bruce Baby Man Bomb. And how did your set go on Comic View? I got a standing O. I got a standing you, uh, you worked at the Dolphin Habitat. Do you have secret knowledge of dolphins? Or I, I know. I know, <laughs> know that. A lot? I know a lot. Here's what I. Uh, I know a lot. This is this is what I used to do. There's 12 of them in that habitat. Well, I don't know how many there are now. And you know, I take them underneath, right? And there's a bunch of windows, and then people ask questions, but you have to name them. So I go, that's that scooter. I would name the real names, by the way. Yeah. That's scooter. That's banjo. And you know them. You that's knew them. Alicia, whatever. <laughs> And then, and then at the end of my tour, they go, which one's Alicia? And I would just point at any gray one because I didn't fucking know the no, difference. No, Now, were they, were they unhappy or you couldn't tell? Okay, so they told us that uh, the rake marks are natural behavior, that they always play fight and bite each other on the tail. <laughs> These fucking dolphins look like they were in knife fights 24-7. I'm sure they were great. There were fucking, fucking rake marks all over the yeah. body, and just scratches it? everywhere. Each other. Each other. They would just fight, fight all the time. Each other. And it wasn't until I you know, got too, older huh? and started watching about mammals and watching, watching you know, about dolphins and whales that these are family members that are stripped from their families yeah. and brought to another oh, family man. and put into a house which just some dude. So there's oh. a dude and a chick oh my and they're just God. looking at each other swimming and the, like live. And yeah, live. But and by the way, they're mammals, so they hate each other. Yes, one's still looking for their parents. dolphins. War against each other. They war. Yeah, their man. pods war against. They're, each other. Yeah, they're. If fam it's two dudes, they'll fuck each other, man. No, they. they uh, dolphins are gay. Yeah, some a lot of them. Yeah. They, they, they they were so aggressive in that pool, and you would always have to say, "Oh, they always play fight." They weren't play fighting. Damn, that's terrible. They hated each other. Wow. It's just like you know what I mean. It's like it's not a natural pod. Well, it's like, it's like no. that dolphin in Mall of America. It's so fucked up. It's dude. fucked I, up, dude. I, 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 They're I'm so mammals. I'm so against it now that I learned. I never thought about it until Blackfish. I'm so now, against of it. Like, and then, but then you see it, like, okay, I kind of get it. And no, you hear I'm them okay. crying. What else am I going to see? Really? This? Yeah, it's sad, man. It's really, really sad. Man. Um, Flipper. I've got, I've got 15 minutes, kids, before I have to go back to act, and I thought we'd do some current events. Let's do That's it. Cool, I'm not man. doing the reads by myself, dude. Don't Quick, do that to me again. I'm sorry. Before you guys do this, can I ask Brian a serious question? Sure. And don't get, don't get mad at me. No. Don't be shitty. Um, bro, Do have know? I been? Yes. Very much so. <laughs> Worst of all time. Now, now be nice. What were you going to ask me? I'm just going to ask you. Okay. Have you memorized your line? <laughs> the, the one line. <laughs> Joe, that's a shitty... You're being a, you're being a dick and you're fake sucking that right now. <laughs> what? Oh, man. You're being so mean to Arigato. Don't be that Arigato. way. <laughs> I want one so bad. Oh, you can... They're cheap. I want my they're cheap. They're cheap. Oh, I thought They're you not, said I thought you were gonna say a dolphin. Uh, nah, that'd be kind of cool. Right. No, I want my own Yoshi. Yeah. His name is his Yoda. name is Yoda. <laughs> to his yeah, name. I want you. And that's Yoshi. not even that's not his real fucking name. It is Yoda. It's Yoda, dude. Let me speak. Let me speak to him in his own tongue. It's Yoda. Don't. <laughs> oh, well, that. <laughs> Don't. Racist. That's a that's cancel. Weird. That's wow. A, oh, but you can do it because you have these two. I speak some Japanese. Uh, Watch really. this. Speak. This is Ikagide oh. Shiro Madaro. My. <laughs> this is the most Ikagide Shiro. Man, B, that's I Korean. Stop. You're at ABC. That's, so that's dude. Korean. Way more Korean. No, that is that is that is Japanese. Watch Ikagide Shiro Bagaro. I have no idea what to say. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that's a swear. It's very racist. What does Bagaro mean? Bagaro. 
Uh, how? Ah. Pajero. Pajero. Yeah. Pajero. That's not what you said. That's a though. swear word, right? Yeah. And what what about Hara? Please stop. Hara Shiro? Please stop. Hara Shiro? I am old. Here, say it and I'll, I'll translate. Go. Fuck, I thought that I was Here, speaking dude, say, Japanese. Just speak Japanese and I'll, I'll do the, uh, the, the, the voiceover. I am old. Look at my face. Shiro. Eight right? lines equals. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> 90 years old. Yeah. It's like when you get a uh, Asian tattoo, you think it means like life, and they're like, no, I mean fucking dolphin, dude. Yeah, yeah I yeah. thought I was. I, I I heard that in a samurai movie, and so I've been doing that. Oh wow! Oh, oh Jesus! I've read a lot of Japanese literature. You'll, I'll have you know, I've read a lot please of Japanese. Oh, I've read a lot of Japanese stop. authors. Please unlike stop. these fucking two. This is this name is a, name this is, one. This is a racist kind of name one. one. Racist. Oh, dude, I read a bunch of Japanese books. Well, I read all of Yukio Mishima's books. Oh, I, I read uh, Bananas books. Uh, what the fuck is this? Uh, bananas. You just listen. You read. Bananas books. No, I read. I went through a phase. You read, read bananas <laughs> books. Yeah, banana. I went through a phase where I read hey, a lot us, of Japanese. Give us current events. <laughs> let's give, let's see. More you than all, this show's getting canceled. Okay, Hopefully. this was submitted by Jesus Duran. Uh, there's a clip of a stripper falling down from a 15 foot pole that Holy went viral. Shit. I'm gonna show you guys the clip. Have you seen this? Oh, I no. I, I hope she's not hurt. Oh! Let's go back real quick. Oh shit! Get oh, it, shit. girl. Boom! Oh! Bro, a Please. queen. A, and she a still got up. Working. She's bad. Dude, Dude, finishes her dead. set. Fractured her jaw. Fractured and broke teeth. Oh, she thing. broke a couple of teeth. I love her. She had ended surgery. up having to have surgery because her jaw was fucked up. Dude, and she's a baddie. She so yeah, up she's badass. I love her. Well done. Yeah. 20 feet she fell, correct? It what? was a 15 foot pole. Oh. But it's Why would they have a strip club at, with a 20 foot pole? Who does that? How did she fall? Was it just... How? I think she just did something wrong within her routine and then she fell. Uh, you know, good point. I think there was something very wrong with that routine. Very wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> very, very wrong. A uh, fifteen foot pole uh, in a strip club. First of all, no disrespect. She's a badass. Okay, yeah, I love her. I would definitely. God pay bless her, money. her. God bless you. I'm glad she's healthy. Mm -hmm. um, when you're looking at pussy popping, uh, it, you don't see it from fifteen feet up. So let's just bring the poles down. <laughs> Look at her right. You don't there. see it from. Good thing she didn't fall on that girl below. Yeah, bro, bro. break oh, that bro. neck. Why is she bro. crying? Bro. She oh. came hard, dude, and she Probably landed she on her face, feet, yeah. man. Dude, she's a badass. She oh, kept, oh, the show must go on. Is what I always say, Joe. One hundred percent. The show must go on. One hundred percent. She's down, dude. What else you got? You know what's crazy? She made no tips on that one too. <laughs> no one threw money. Bastard. No one well, threw money. She, I would have made that character. shit rain that night. I wouldn't. Yeah, she so did break character. She did break. No, she didn't break character. She went back. She, got she went back right up and started twerking. Not, not fast With, enough. <laughs> that's true. Not fast enough. She was concussed, though. Oh. But then her teeth were all fucked up. Yeah. This, this might, makes might. my bone or so. I, this was okay. Dumb. So there have been a bunch of videos going around where people are doing this broom challenge. Somebody said it was rumored that NASA released a statement saying that on a specific day, any broom that you would try to stand up straight would stay because of like the earth is it's a tail the rotation the, or yeah the rotation is in a very specific place where brooms will stand up straight which okay. is was clearly bullshit but then these videos end up going viral and now people are just trying NASA's to make definitely their not gonna all right stand. so nasa said today is the day the only day that your broom can stand up on its own and watch this <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, no strings, nothing. That's, cr that's crazy. Well, the earth is flat. <laughs> what, that's Joe? True. How do you know that? Uh, Tripoli e and uh, Eddie Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> well, then it's true. Duh. So but we, I believe it. How are these people doing yeah, it? They're just, they're just trying to find the balancing point. That's uh, it. Uh. But this went viral. And then a bunch of people said that it didn't work on their brooms because they had the little Asian ones. Uh -huh. Like it doesn't, you know what I mean? And we're bashing Asians on the... this. You've been ordering him around. You've been calling him Yoshi. <laughs> no, no, I want. At least I'm Yoshi. the only one who speaks the language here. No. Fucking asshole. Bananas. Banana. <laughs> what the hell is his last name? Those are the most racist. Great, things great I've writer. Seen. Great writer. Yeah, great Japanese like writer. You don't remember his name though, you know. I read a lot of Jap. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say his name is not Bananas. <laughs> yeah. I've also been to Nippon. Sorry. Japan. Well, it doesn't. It uh, this doesn't validate what you did to my friend Yoda over there. Yeah. Uh, it's Yoda. When you're pretending that's it's not, not Japanese. I Do you want to hear his real name? Speak. Do you want to hear his real name? Yeah. Let's see who can say your real name the right way with the perfect it's accent. It's Steve. 
You fucking racist. God. You fucking. Let's see, you're a piece of shit, name. dude. Dude! Yeah, you want to yeah. see who can say his fucking Fuck. Steve, you yeah. dick? Yeah. Yoda's his fucking nickname because no. he's a Star Wars fanatic. All right. God damn all right, it. So Steve. Steve. Yeah. All it's right. short for Steven. You know what? I'm glad you're not and we can all say you're it. You're not pronouncing. You're not pronouncing as well. Steve. <laughs> I'm glad we're seeing your true color. Yeah, man. No. I'm, sorry, Steve. Oh, Holy man. shit. Wow. Sorry, Steve. All right, what else you got? Chip? Light the cross on fire. Oh, Jesus no. Christ. Hey. Holy shit. So The yeah. Rock's uh, eldest daughter has officially signed onto WWE, and this makes her officially the first person to be in the fourth generation of like a wrestling family. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, because so Rock's the great grandpa? grandfather. Uh, yeah, but there's so many wrestling families. The Hearts. The uh, all of them, the man. Hearts are the main. Rhodes. Flair. I think Rhodes. his daughter is a champ. The she's the fourth one though. I think there have been a oh, lot of like, I see what you're saying. Okay, my bad. Four my bad. Four gener- okay, I'm gonna. She's the Come fourth generation. I'm stupid. I'm slow. Her. I'm slow. That's dope. Have you ever seen her mom? Have you seen Have you seen Rock's uh, uh-huh. ex wife? Simone. Nope. Nope. Definitely takes Danny the same Garcia. supplements as as the Rock. Oh, she's jacked. Are you saying this really not natural? She's jacked. Jack City. Has uh, The Rock always been good looking? Son of a bitch. Yes. 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 The guy's 50 what now? No, he's younger uh, than that. 47. 40. No, he can't be younger yeah, than that. He's younger. He's 50, right? I think uh, he's in his 50s. No. He he looks phenomenal, man. Like, phenomenal. There she is. Oh, my Lord. That's his ex. Oh, and that's with my boy, Phil Heath. But that's his ex. Do I? Okay. Oh, that's a strong woman. Right. I'm, I'm sorry, Mickey. That's, that's a strong, strong woman. woman. Sorry, that's dude. impressive. <sighs> oh, Who's that guy? Who's that guy? Phil Heath. Phil Heath used to be Mr. Olympia. Seven times. Oh, that's him? From Denver. Oh, oh he's from Seattle originally. Right. Stop. Right. Yeah, he played at U- UW. Uh, Great guy. I don't know. He played at DU. Sorry. Either way, he's from Seattle. But yeah, that's The Rock's ex wife. Wow. Damn, she's yoked. She manages him now, too. Manages The Rock? Yeah. Oh, you know what else she manages? Uh, she ended up being his manager. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, so they're still best friends. Yeah, yeah. pretty close. Pretty Very cool, good right? Terms. You know That's what else? That's really cool. I know, isn't that great? You know God what else she manages? <laughs> 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 what is steroids. All right, man. Dude, oh my gosh. not a good I, you're not saying, a good way to get him on the show. You're saying The Rock is not, not natural? A good way. You're saying The Rock's not natural? It's a good looking, good looking group there. I don't think The Rock. I think The Rock is natural all the way. 100%. chin. 100%. What else you got? All right. Let's move on to... You know who's on roids? Who? Oh. No, I'm not. Don't nod to me like that. Don't spread rumors about me just because I'm naturally muscular. Leatherface over here. No, don't call me Leatherface. <laughs> do you have a picture uh, of Leatherface? I do. I wish I could pull it up. <laughs> Can you pull up Leatherface? Your... <laughs> Look at, pull up Leatherface and tell me this isn't Brian Callen. Just like waking up in the morning. <laughs> That's not Brian Callen? No, that's not Brian Joe, Callen early in the morning. No, Joe, no, before you put on Joe, like some kind being, of moisturizer. Show that's so fucked right there. Up. That, By the I way, bought that mask before on Halloween. It's no, called the Brian Callen. No, it's not. <laughs> that's called the Brian Callen. That's the that Callen. That's the Callen right there. That's well, a there's that new doc on. Saying. Is it Netflix? The the Mr. Rinks and they're yeah. clearly yeah, stealing the clown. from. Yeah, Rinks the clown. Bro, all I get is Rinks now. I I fucking I'm known as Rinks. Look at gifted. I'll give you the worst Palm Beach ever. Come save me life. I'll make you laugh. It's a shitty fucking impression and come, a shitty commercial. Come see me tell jokes uh, and I talk about doing a TV show. <laughs> rah, rah, rah. Now you're making me so old that I'm... He sells shirts that say rah, rah, rah on it. Rah, rah, rah. rah, rah, rah. Hey. You fuck. Rah. You fuck. <laughs> I'm going to have to stop you in your fucking tracks. I'm buying that, though. This that Halloween, I'm going to hey, be Brian Callen. I got to go. I love that. Because they will kill me if I'm late uh-huh. again. You do the reads on your own, or I can come in tomorrow. Oh, good God. <laughs> do some, Jesus. and I'll come in tomorrow and do the rest. Me, man. You're well, we got to get the episode man. out. Yeah. Just do it real quick. Let's just knock them out together, the three of us. Okay. Let's go. We got, we got this. Do we have any more? Two? We got to do uh, keto. Yeah, and uh, if you guys want to do honored as well. Okay. That would be three. Let's hey, if you guys want the best supplements on planet Earth, and you want to look like Joe Coy and not me, Thank you me. get on, on it. You take on it? I love on it. All right. Yeah. That's why I'm on it. Yeah, you're on it. I'm on it. it. I'm on it. Chin's on it. Chin's on it. On it. it. You know what I love about Chin ever since he's been on it? Yeah. You can see his chin. That's exactly. And that's no bullshit. And his jaw. Very chiseled. 
Thank Look you. at that. Shredded, dude. <laughs> the protein powder is sweetened by monk food. I don't know if you know that doesn't spike your insulin. Mm. Yeah, you knew that. Yeah, I need that. Yeah. Tell about got, the alpha brain, B. Alpha brain, you want a clear fucking brain? You yes. want to increase your memory and focus? Huh? You want to be Elon Musk? You want to be Elon Musk yeah. in comedy? Yes. Get involved okay, with some dude. alpha brain. They got it instant. Instant. Mix it in your drink. And drink, drink. it. Yeah. Well, well, I'm well, fucking smarter. Audit.com yeah. slash Friday 10% off. Yeah, you want to fuck? Well, they got stuff for that too. <laughs> okay, I don't uh, know, man. I don't want to be on it. Audit.com slash Friday. Love it. 10% off. Good. You know what, B? The one thing health experts, dietitians, athletes, and top performers agree on is that your perfect diet doesn't exist, dude. It doesn't exist, it doesn't, man. Because you, you need nutrients. you need some help. Yeah. You need some help. Yeah. So why don't you shut your yapper and swallow yeah. Athletic Greens Ultimate Ooh. Daily All-in-One Health Drink? Yeah. Seventy-five vitamins, minerals. I thought there was only four. And they're they're food sourced either. ingredients, you bastards. Comprehensive nutrition without the need for multiple pills, powders, or complex routines. It's a complete supplement for a better you. Dude, That's here's the thing. It's powder form. You put it in water. I was trying to shovel spinach down my throat. Doesn't work. Don't need to do that anymore. Yeah. It's got probiotics and prebiotics too. And fiber. All the fiber you need. I didn't know there was such thing as a prebiotic until oh, yeah. on it. Yeah. Dude, now you know. Oh, this yeah. is basically like swallowing 12 servings of fruit and vegetables. All right? Yeah. Start each day the right way with some athletic greens. It does not compromise on ingredients and sourcing. It's gluten-free, dairy-free, keto, paleo, vegan-friendly, vegan-friendly, and contains no harmful chemicals, no pesticides, no GMOs, Crazy, or funny additives. All right? And it's used by top performers, entrepreneurs, athletes, and Olympians. Yes. Whether you're taking steps towards a healthier lifestyle or you're an athlete, push them for better performance. Athletic Greens gives you the nutrients you need for a body to thrive. Why not just try it? Jump on over to athleticgreens.com slash fighter and claim the special offer today. A free tub with 20 servings of all natural New Zealand source, 100% grass-fed whey protein with your first purchase. Ooh. That's your micronutrients and macros covered all in one. Let Again, me just, let me go to Athletic. This. Go on. Athleticgreens.com athletic slash fighter. But I will say this, that I used to take Athletic Greens a lot. So that's my you, little oh, thing. Wow. I've used awesome. this product wow. and I believe good, in it. Good pitch, dude. Athletic yeah. Athleticgreens.com athletic slash fighter. Athletic Greens, it's the actually, official sponsor of the fighter and the koi. No, no, good. <laughs> I like it, dude. No, I like that. It's, got it's a, actually awesome. Kind of, what is this now? Dude, uh, this is Kyoto Bars, dude. Ooh. Yeah, Key Eats Bars. That's right, man. Key Eat Bars are keto-friendly, seriously de delicious. Might be the best bars I've ever put in my fat mouth. I, you know I, me. I stay thick, dude. Yeah. But I'm trying to be on this keto junk diet, so I need tasty stuff. Thank God for Key Eats Bars with the absolute no sugar. They're sweetened with FDA-approved keto sugar replacements. Um, they're entirely plant-based. Damn. So you can use them. You're clean keto, dude. Ooh. Clean, all right? We love the ones they sent us. My favorite is probably the chocolate chip cookie dough. Oof, uh, I haven't I tried these. Everybody. I can't wait. Uh, I can't wait to get involved. Watch you try. I'll let you guys know. Uh, Keyeats.com slash Use your fighter. fingers and put all of them yeah, in your yeah. mouth and then lick your fingers. I'm, I, I lick use my fingers. fingers to eat my keys. Dude, go to yeah. keyeats.com yeah, yeah. slash fighter. Yeah, try yeah. Keyeats bars for free. That's right. Three free bars with free shipping. That's keyeats.com slash fighter. Joe Coy, love you. I love you more. You're the best. Thank I'm you. I'm proud of all your success. All bullshit aside, you're one of my favorite people in the world. Love Thank you. Thank you for doing the fighter. You're the kid. best, man. Come see me at the West Palm Beach Improv this weekend, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Joe Coy doesn't need any commercials because he <laughs> sold 60,000 fucking tickets. Thank you, Three man. Days. I'm oh, in shit. Ontario. There are 20 tickets left for all shows this That's Thursday, dope. Friday, Saturday, Ontario Improv. <laughs> Next week, Vancouver. That bitch almost sold out, too. Vogue Theater, Just for Last Comedy Festival, Vancouver. And I close the month in Tacoma, Washington, February 27th to 29th. Get your tickets now. Theater run coming up. Atlanta, New Orleans, uh, Detroit, Toronto, Minneapolis. Get your tickets. TVFA.com. I, I added a show. Ooh. Oh, oh there you go. you add? Showware, Kent, Washington. Oh, wow. Seattle, Washington added another Seattle. Don't get mad, but I added an arena show. Oh, wow. <laughs> arena. Yeah. So. I'm happy. For where, where, where can I get tickets? Uh, hopefully somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, go to tfatk.com and you can get them off my website. Uh, for the if you come to the West Palm Beach, I'll, I'll get you half tickets, half price tickets to Joe Coy. This is guys. the fighter and the Coy. We're out. Woo!